Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. It's time to stream. The stream is now live. Yo, what up? There is music back there somewhere. Welcome, one and all. Oh, it's that song. Oh, I love that song. Oh my god, this is my favorite one. I could listen to this one forever. In fact, I think I will. Infinite repeat. For it, the full six-hour stream. Seven, I don't know how long the stream's gonna be. We're gonna listen to this. This is a two-and-a-half-minute loop forever. We're just going to pretend like we're staring at the map right now. I'm sure that there is a 10-hour mix of this on YouTube. Hey, everybody. What's up? Howdy. We got Sleepy Dog. And uh, we got some video games to play today. Decided to dig into the reserve and check out a game we haven't played in like two years. So we're going to see what's up with Astronauts. It's still in early access and I imagine it will be in early access almost indefinitely. Because it's a very ambitious game. Trying to be a lot of things. I'm not sure what it is right now other than a simulation of life on a spaceship. And uh, that we're trying to basically build up a scrappy little ship for ourselves with mechanics that I am definitely not going to remember, but it's had like two years worth or so of updates since we last played. I can't believe it's been that long. The song brings back good memories, so cozy. It is so cozy. And um, I noticed that they changed. I wonder what the reason was. Because Mass Effect 1 soundtrack is by who? Okay. It's a combination of Jack Wall and some guests. Sam Hewlett is on a few of the tracks. But yeah, there's, it's, a, it's mostly Jack Wall, and then it's Jack Wall for Mass Effect 2, and then Mass Effect 3, they were like, no. Jack Wall, stinky. Bring in Chris Velasco, Christopher Linertz, and Sam Hewlett again. So I'm really curious if what happened, like the that theme that's so consistent from Mass Effect 1 and 2 kind of changes. I still like the third soundtrack, but it's very different. It's more sort of like... Uh, action movie as opposed to that hard sci-fi synth vibe but yeah it, it's still good but Mass Effect 1 and 2 are definitely my favorites and that might be nostalgia talking possibly hello beginning of stream subs welcome visual warlock who says yo for 53 months thanks dude Omnium Gatherum also sharing the tier 1 hey Falkris says hi. What up, Falkris? Nanny Elk says, thanks, streamer and chat. For far too many months of quality entertainment, big people happy. For 54 months sub. Thanks for the tier one once again, Nanny Elk. Glad you're having fun. And Bonewalker says, hey, it's me. It's a me, a Bonewalker. You like my Chris Pratt impression. Very good, yeah. Great. Great job. The tracks with the game too, it's more action-y. That makes sense. I need to go back. I was I had a Mass Effect 1 remaster playthrough that was going pretty well. I need to go back and play that some more. I just need some more PS5 time. Uh, my free time right now is spent either watching The Expanse or losing in Marvel Snap. So those are those are my two pastimes at the moment. But anyways. Sorry I'm late today. Uh, the reason I'm late is because procrastination. And uh, the simple explanation is, it is rough out there. As far as streaming goes right now. And I'm just, I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining. But, like, 
every single person that I follow on my Twitch follow list, people are playing games that came out like seven years ago. And it's not that new games are better implicitly. It's just that when everyone, every single streamer is currently trying as hard as they can to find something interesting to do. And it's very difficult right now because they're just, we had the hype. Like the hype has already come and crashed over us like a wave with, um, you know, we were truly blessed to get an expansion to RimWorld this year, to get Dwarf Fortress on Steam was excellent. Uh, so strategy and simulation was just off the charts for a bit. And now it's the wind down. There was a new Tarkov wipe today. Yeah, but Tarkov is basically seven years old now, so that still counts. But I, do you remember when everyone was streaming Tarkov on Twitch? That was like, we, we haven't had like a, like a hype wave like that in a while. Where something just sweeps across all streams. TF2 new Twitch meta, mark my words. Yeah, the, the Twitch meta has been very stale for a while now. The last game that, that everybody on Twitch was streaming, it, it, except for me, was Elden Ring. And that was like the first quarter or two of this year. He talks about seven-year-old games while I'm still playing EU4. Super Auto Pets was big for a bit. What? Did you just wake up from cryo sleep? This year was really front-loaded. It was really front-loaded. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is the reason I'm late is because I'm bored. I'm just bored and like I'm looking at my Steam library and there's nothing exciting. I've been wanting to go back to Astronauts for a while. And Astronauts, is a, it was a fun game. I remember liking it and being like, okay, let's see where this game is at in a couple years. And um, it's not that I don't think this is going to be fun. It's that I'm afraid of learning because this is not an easy game. And uh, it's got a lot of complex, robust simulation like uh, systems that I have to be in a particular mental state to want to tackle live on stream. So hopefully um, some people in chat can answer my inevitable questions that are definitely going to be coming. Time to start a steam dumpster diving series. No, because I, let me, I think I've, it, it's difficult to explain, but if there was anything that I thought was gonna be super exciting, I already would have done it. So just looking through Steam right now, I think I'm just craving, I crave something new. I'm, I'm craving like a fresh hit of something that nobody else has experienced. Not that I need to be the first, but that it needs to be separate from an existing fandom, I guess. There's still workers and resources. I'm sorry, I don't have time to attend a university class um, before I stream my game. That would be at least two to three times as hard as the game we're playing today. Have you played Valheim? Yep, for like 150 hours. But again, I want to play something that people don't already have existing experience with. So any possible game that you guys could suggest right now is something that other people have already played for hundreds of hours. And I want, I want that fresh, like, whoa, we're experiencing something at the same time for the first time. Like the, when Valheim first came out, that was a hell of an experience. Like that was just, um, wonder and awe and um, everything sort of hitting you like this the smoke mechanics going up the chimneys and the building stability supports and the unknown islands that you're sailing to it was so cool something that's just fun to explore for the first time that other people don't already know what's beyond the uh, threshold each time He's addicted to the zeitgeist. There's nothing anyone can do. The second part is true. There is nothing anybody can do. 
Uh, I'm just tired of playing the same old things over and over again, ha with the exception that I'm actually genuinely having a good time with this RimWorld campaign. So, um, that at least, like, I'm interested in, in continuing. But it would be nice to have some other things to kind of go along with it. It's like, RimWorld is, this is going to be a hot take. RimWorld is like a nice steak. Okay? And you can eat steak and be really happy for a really long period of time. But if you just only eat steak every day with no sides, there's no potatoes, there's no pastas, there's there's no it's just a plate with a delicious steak on it and that is the meal every day. You will get tired of it eventually. Because you just you need something else to spice it up. I feel the same. I'm liking my kimchi run, but I can't go harder. I'll burn out. I don't know. I lived on nothing but chili for a solid week. A week is a long time, but now consider 2,000 hours is longer than a week. Rimworld is a well-done steak. But yes, I, I I don't think I can articulate it any differently because I'm just like, I want something new. And Chad's like, have you heard of Prison Architect? Ah, I see you want you want to play something new. How about this game that's been out for five years, seven years? I don't know how else to say it. I not new to me, just new in general. If it's already out, then it isn't new at this point. I can't see any further into the future than a week. None of us can. The fact that you can even see a week into the future is quite impressive. Now, don't get captured by the authorities so that they can use your powers for nefarious ends. Someone said Dyson Sphere. I actually did not jive with Dyson Sphere. I thought it was a decently well-made game that just didn't click with me for some reason. Are we still listening? Yes, we are still listening to New Worlds. Whatever, just keep it keep it rotating. Neo Scavenger 2077, basically. But yeah, it, it's difficult to because like the hype that surrounds or surrounded um, RimWorld Biotech was sort of the last big hit of that dopamine. And... Um, it's impossible to really duplicate that because that is a once every year and a half hit. Going back to Captain of Industry anytime soon? Probably not. I think uh, for some reason chat did not like Captain of Industry very much. Talix is finally getting jaded? I've always been jaded. What do you mean? Etal should play Core Keeper. We streamed Core Keeper already. Hey, Talon Chad, how's it going? Hello, Arian. Riftbreaker, stream that too. Chat, you're still suggesting games that have already come out. There's a balance between finding new games and realizing all the cool new games are still early access and having to wait for them. But there aren't any of those either. That's why I'm bored. Like, there's not even any new, cool, early access games at the moment, in my opinion, that are, like, brand spanking new. And it just ha it's the same thing happens every year. It's during the winter Steam sale. There was a dearth. I love the word dearth. There is a dearth of, of anything new coming out. Have you streamed Farthest Frontier? Extensively, yes. Solitaire stream. Yeah, we're just going to play Solitaire. What about that cool new game, Banished? Banished is super boring in 2022. Did you play Against the Storm? No. Because I looked at it and didn't end up playing it. Chat, I am 
aware of every possible suggestion that you could make. And I guarantee you, I've already looked at it and decided not to stream it, else you would have already seen it. The only exception right now is, um... I'm not entirely opposed to trying We Who Are About to Die. I haven't been able to pull the trigger on it because I looked at it and I was like, I don't know, maybe. And... It, it didn't it didn't make me buy it it's fun but the AI is busted it doesn't look like the kind of game that you can play for seven straight hours it looked like the kind of game you could play for like four hours Etel, have you heard of the new hit award-winning mobile card game Marvel snap it seems right up your alley Scroll through the new list on Steam and find a bad game instead. I don't like picking games and then making fun of them unless they are intentionally designed to be made fun of. That's just sort of mean. I don't think I've heard Italics talk about vintage story ever. You don't think I've... You don't remember the Minecraft Christmas special where we played Vintage Story? On stream? I've, I've played it. What are you talking about? That was three years ago. It was three years ago. And guess what? It hasn't changed a bit. Because it's old. You ever consider watch parties? The reason I don't do watch parties is because it excludes people who don't have Prime. So it's just sort of like a weird... Anybody who doesn't have Prime just comes in and is like, Okay, what is... What are you guys doing? <laughs> it's getting updates. I like the one person's suggestion of finding an obscure Minecraft mod. The thing is, chat, I am weirdly... You've probably realized this by now, but my interests are very niche. Um, in that, I like sandbox games as an idea, but have you noticed that anytime you put an actual true sandbox game right in front of me, I can only get... I mean, still, more than one stream is great, but it's... Like, name one true sandbox game that has captured my attention for more than, like, four streams. Other than, I, I would say Kinshi, but even uh, Kinshi sort of fizzles out once we get to the base building. And that's not just me, that's you too, okay? You guys get bored once we get to the base building part. But that's also because when you get to the base building part, you don't do anything except defend your base. Which is fun... But maybe not for stream. Kenshi is a fabulous game, though. Is Flight Sim a sandbox game? It, it is basically a sandbox game. With no objectives. That one lasted for a while. But that was also like two years ago. <laughs> Never bored. But yeah, I love the ideas of, of all these sandbox games, but I can't get addicted to them. Um, Project Zomboid, fantastic game. Can't get addicted to it. Um, Dwarf Fortress, fantastic game. Can't get addicted to it. Like, I've, I've tried. Uh, Kenji, fantastic game. I've played it for so many hours, you could say that we were addicted to it at, at, at some point, so I'd say that's the closest, because we had like 280 hours. And uh, Kinshi would have been amazing if it had a random map. Yes. If Kinshi had a randomized map, it would have that level of replayability that I need. Ironically, the flight sim stream stopped just when RPing leaving the house became mainstream. It was before that. Uh, or it was after that. Because when RPing leaving the house was mainstream was Animal Crossing. And uh, we played Animal Crossing actually all the way through the credits i think 
on stream, and then I stopped. <laughs> Animal Crossing is a true sandbox game. And as soon as I was done with the objectives that Tom Nook was feeding me to like pay off all my mortgages, I was like, oh, that was fun. I enjoyed it. I got to the credits and then I stopped playing it. I don't know. I just can't keep playing sandbox games. You need story. Yeah. And I think that's why um, RimWorld hits different because it's a sandbox game with concrete objectives. And I think the concrete objectives give me and also a concrete sense of progression. So for me, it's in a league of its own. And I can't find something that duplicates that combination of both sandboxiness as well as um, optional hard-coded objectives. And I have no ability to change or correct that. Kenshi 2 with a random map would be nice. I agree, yes. Read a book. Maybe I will. I've been trying to find the energy to play Planet Zoo, but it's been like a year and it hasn't happened yet. I don't I don't think we played Planet Zoo, but I played the other one. Scrolling up in chat. Scrolling down in chat. More eel books. Book club stream. Chad, do we want to do another uh, book club this year? No. What would we even read? I'm not doing a book club because I want to personally read the sequels to the books that I've already read. That doesn't mean that we can't do a book club, but I need to at least read one of the sequels first. I need to read the sequel to Lindsay Ellis's book, and I also need to read the sequel to the book that we had the original book club for. So, I, I, I gotta put the... Don't put the carpet for the horse there. Smile for fun, thanks for 20 months. And thanks again, Joe Knows Nothing, for the 15 months. So I appreciate both of you. All right, there is a game here that I have only played once. And we now get to figure out how to play it again. Hey, chat, mute your mic. Stop talking over me. That's very rude. Don't sunk cost fallacy yourself with books if you don't love them. I actually really liked the first uh, book in the Books of Babel and also in Zealous's first book. Julia India Docking, Mike 3 4. We have guidance. Firing RCS. Eel Book 2. There can't be an Eel Book 2 because they already solved uh, the mystery of the eels. They have actually tracked an eel with GPS all the way back to the Sargasso Sea, so we have confirmation of them actually going there. So they can't write another book. They saw that after the book was written. Okay, we are in Astronauts. And we are going to look at the options first, because I don't remember anything about this game. Temperature units in Kelvin or Celsius. Devs, please fix this. <laughs> so rude to exclude the superior ambient air measurement system, but keep Kelvin in there. <laughs> Where are my freedom units? Where are we, Utah? We are in a, a spaceship with atmosphere. That's where we are. We'll use Celsius, so at least chat can tell me what that is in Fahrenheit. Okay. So, let's do it. New game. What's new? New inventory system, new clothes and items, overhauled career system, new zone system, new medical items, new PDA changes, dragging, jettisoning, and corpses, corpses do more. What do the corpses do? Pray tell. And new loading screens. They dance. Something is not right here. Um, 
these people are dead i think <sighs> they that these people have to be dead <laughs> <laughs> corpses corpses do more all right uh we're definitely gonna delete all of these and make new characters here we go yes this is from the dev of neo scavenger hence the aesthetic similarities in the logo Neo Scavenger is a fantastic game. We've it streamed quite extensively here. Another game that I think would benefit from a randomly generated map with different landmarks, but is still very, very fun um, in its current form. Okay, do I... How do you make a new... Like, I haven't played this in a while, chat, so we are going to be bumping around... Welcome, Captain. Where is a good place to be here? Your guy looks so sad. Yes, it looks like Emmanuel Hill's about to cry. I need to actually, um... How do I, um, get out of here? Open up. Career time. We gotta choose our career. I do remember that. I remember a couple things. Here we go. <clears throat> New player labor department. The Ayo... Ayo Tamiwa. Ayo... Ayo Tamiwa. Medtech takes a glance at your chart, then your body, then back at your chart. Immunosuppressed, low bone density, hypovolemic... Standard condition for young spacer on K-Lake Station, born and raised as you were in the weak microgravity of a 33-kilometer asteroid. Doc says the insomnia is catching up with you. It's chronic around here, something likely caused by radiation and lack of sunlight. Your eyes work well enough now, but they're still bad and getting worse. 18 years old and rapidly approaching middle age. Your muscles are feeble by Mars standards. They wouldn't stand a chance on Earth. No shit, you say. You're no earther, and you never will be. A heart monitor beeps and then beeps again. The board tech scribbles a few notes and grants your work permission. Healthy enough to strip holes in the boneyard, despite everything. Fine with you. Closer to the ships, after all. And you're gonna get one. New biological father and biological mother from Atlantis, Europa, and Station Kaleg and Ganymede. Eighteen and nearly fifty? No, the implication is that middle age is much younger as a space born weak muscle belter. The belters don't be living as long. Uh eighteen years old. And net worth is ninety seven dollars. Very good, very good. So how do I change literally anything on this page I am loaded yes I got I got 97 space dollars correct skills and attributes insomniac visually impaired immunosuppressed micro g hypovolemic slow metabolism fragile feeble <laughs> developmental radiation exposure Adapted to low sunlight, non-circadian, grew up in micro-G. I have some pretty nasty downsides, I think. Corporate checkup. Not. I know this isn't finished. Okay. Uh, despite your best efforts, your dream of owning your own salvage ship still eludes you. You find yourself wondering if a change of strategy is in order. How will you spend the upcoming years? Live fast, work on skills, work on traits, save money, seek a ship, or review resume. Oh, I... I'd go back. I'd like to redo... Okay. Um, I clicked this without thinking it was going to click. I will... 
Chat, what do you think? I feel like my my skills are very bad. I'm thinking either work on skills. Review your resume. Live fast, die young. Review your resume for years. Yes, as in, uh, we're not going to work on ourselves at all. Do you get to tweak your traits and skills? Oh, yeah, I do get to, um... Oh, I think live fast is like skip the character creator. Let's see. Ah, okay. Live fast is just like go, 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 go. That makes a little bit more sense. You do a deep dive of the old Earth Archive and find there an infinite wealth of resources to aid your quest to become a better you. Psychological journals, religious texts, self-help books, how-to manuals, poetry, novels, an entire world of self-improvement available to anyone with the discipline to achieve it. It will take time, but there, time is something you have. What will you change about yourself? Oh, we're taking years off of our life to improve something. Okay. So it's one to three years to get better at a thing. Imagine skipping the best part of the game, yeah. <sighs> Why does this have a thumbs up? None of the other ones have a thumbs up. Designing, building, and maintaining natural and artificial infrastructure. Designing and building electronic devices. Designing and building software. Environmental suit maintenance. Unarmed melee combat. Construction and demolition in combat conditions, designing and building mechanical devices, spacecraft, changing people's minds, treating mental illness, implementing civil engineer plans, building robotic devices, hacking, and armed melee combat. If read correctly, you have that skill. Okay, so we're already got spaceship engineering then. I haven't played this in two years, so I don't know what is or isn't a valuable addition at this point. I feel like unarmed melee with someone as so fragile as we are is probably not good. Uh, unauthorized access to electronic systems sounds like a useful tool when we're supposed to be salvaging other people's ships. So now I'm 20. What about traits? As the world around you rages, you spend time cultivating your inner garden. You do a deep dive of the old Earth Archive. Okay, we got uh, psychological journals, poetry novels, and everything in between. Oh boy, there are a lot of possible <laughs> traits now. There's so many more traits than the last time I played. leader ban this card i can't get away from it even when i'm not even playing marvel snap ban it is there a way to start with like a blank okay so i undid vision impairment i think Spend one year to become ugly laughing my ass off. Chad, do we want to do a quick rundown of every single possible trait? Why not? Agliophobic. An arresting fear of pain. More determined to succeed ambitiously. Less fussy. Apathetic. Overconfident and arrogant. Strikingly attractive. More courageous. Inspires devotion. Disapproves of intimate relations. Extremely clumsy. Uninterested in seeking personal advancement. Frequently uses humor in conversation. Uh, physically coordinated. Easier to frighten. Delights in causing pain. Shows more care in their work. Physically weak, which locks out fit. Picky about every detail. I think being physically weak is probably bad. We could spend a year fixing that. Uh, 
Oh, this is blocked by unfit, but I, I still think physically weak is better to get rid of. Uncomfortable making decisions. More likely to forgive. Easier to harm. Can I just reroll this entire person? <laughs> they are they are not long for a life in space. Uh, their default is just they have low blood flow, they can't stay asleep, they have a super weak immune system, easy to harm, incredibly weak, no good eyesight. <laughs> There's so much wrong. Where were we? Significantly smarter than most, over consumes and indulges for pleasure, more fond of company, Fast healer, slow healer, unlikely to lie, more modest than most, no sense of humor, low circulating blood, weak immune system, doesn't like waiting, trouble falling asleep, eat almost anything without ill effects, delights in making others feel good, organizing people is good, no qualms about lying, loyal to their team, Freely intimate in their relations, enjoys pain, digests food more quickly, digests food more slowly, completely unaware of their surroundings and details, or the opposite thereof, slow to make connections and learn, sees the silver lining in everything, willing to wait without being upset, sees negativity in everything, can't hear very well, doesn't stand up for themselves, gives up when challenged, Inspires intense dislike in others. Sorry, chat. I'm afraid you can't get rid of that one. Significantly more likely to serve themselves first or others. Can hear things most others do not. Uncomfortable being around other people, especially strangers. Very heavy sleeper, light sleeper, messy, physically strong. Unable to change their mind and stubborn and unlikely to indulge in pleasure. Hard time not cleaning up a mess. Takes a beating. No loyalty. Uh, places their faith in others. Unpleasant to behold. More tired. Vengeful. Bad vision. Weak stomach. And then smoker. Jack, can we just do something dumb? What happens if you pick every single one and just go to infinite age I'm 30 I'm already 30 oh I think I uh somehow accidentally went I'm 39 years old the time isn't right yet the time isn't right yet. I'm going to work on becoming more diligent <laughs> and uh, forgiving. Really working on myself here. I accidentally became clumsy. That took me a whole year to become clumsy. I'm going to become a people person. Now I want to become a leader. I think I maxed out at 47. Am I dead? Dies of old age as soon as he clicks start. <sighs> All right, I'm 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 sorry. I just wanted to see what would happen. This guy sucks, anyways. They probably all do to some extent. You can't become ugly anymore after you become forty-seven. Try again. So my question in that case is, we didn't, yeah, we spent 20 years of our life and we didn't get, um, we didn't lose any money, which is pretty great. That means we were extremely frugal, I think.
Oh yeah! I can change my character by looking in the mirror. Why do I have all these tattoos on my face? Oh, those, that's not my, <laughs> okay. <laughs> those aren't tattoos. Silly. I love it when someone in chat tells me I can do something that I just did on the stream. That's just Sharpie marks from falling asleep first. You can drink from mug. Oh my god, thank you. I'm so thirsty. Okay, let's do... Why do we look so uh, kind of over it, you know? Like, my, my character's eyes are very much like, uh, had enough of this bullshit already, and they haven't even gotten started with their life proper. They seem fed up. There's actually a surprising number of hair options. Because you wasted your the prime of your life in front of a console. You say wasted. I say thrived. Okay, what hairstyle are we going with, chat? This is the one that we started with, I think. Each haircut change is one year off your life. <laughs> Each is one year. <laughs> Let's go, let's go purple. Scars. That's not scars. That one was just freckles. The eye scar is pretty classic. Let's do scar on left side of face and therefore that's why we use our hair to try to cover it up. Okay, it's RP. No Harry Potter glasses, please. Now we're now we're jamming. Two thousand. <laughs> Aw yeah. Three thousand heart upvote, dude. <laughs> Why 3K? 3,000 up dudes. Okay, what else? I don't know. The, I, I wish I could change. It's kind of hard to argue with the 2,000s and the uh, 3,000 up. Yeah, three. let's go 3,000. 2,000 was 20 years ago. More! It was more than that many years ago. Oh, wait. I can't see my eyes. That one, that one jumped out at me. Angie, very Angie. Okay, this is just coloration. What are you looking at? 
Okay, well, sometimes... I can't see the pupil unless you look straight ahead, please. They're rolling their eyes into the back of their skull. We'll go with that one. I'm, okay, one thing I would like is a number next to this, because I think we've gone... Yeah, we got in a loop after that one, I think. The first character I'm actually going to try, and then the next character is not going to be so lucky. Uh, just FYI, when this character inevitably dies, and they will for sure die. Teeth? Never heard of them. They're in there. They're in there somewhere. Uh-oh, what happens if you click this button? Okay, uh, shape of their head. I think it's just two. jamming. Alright, I need a name. Name is gonna... This is a very important step. <laughs> we need a name. This is going to be like a, like a space name. Yeah, space name. This is gonna be Zuni Zuni <laughs> Microsoft Zuni Zuni 3000 Zuni Tosbolt Zuni Tosbolt Out we go. What's this? Poster work safety. Read it. Work safety and health. You are entitled to compensation. You are entitled to clean and ample air. Ships covered by Agiso's register are required to keep O2 levels in airtight cabins above 20 kPa at all times. Additionally, CO2 levels must not exceed 1 kPa. If your employer is under rationing vital environmental resources, you might be entitled to file for compensation. You are entitled to a comfortable and temperature work and in temperate work environment. Ogiso's register regulations stipulate that airtight cabins must remain between 290 and 300 degrees Kelvin at all times. If your employer holds any policy above total loss only TLO and refuses to install adequate heating or cooling systems within your ship or station, please file to the Ogiso's register claims department immediately. You are entitled to a break. Work schedules for employees within a pressure or EVA suit must include regular trips back to a fully pressurized cabin where the environment within suit systems can be recycled. Ogiso's register regulations stipulate that O2 levels within suit systems remain above 20 kPa and CO2 below 1 kPa. If your employer is demanding long hours in a pressure suit with no breaks, please contact the Ogiso's register human assets department. You are entitled to coworker compliance. If you see a colleague intentionally disregard any of the above regulations, please file a report to the Ogiso Register Compliance Department. If you do not hear back within two weeks, please elevate your claim to the Ogiso's Register Security Office. You are entitled to this information. Your employer must post this flyer in your workplace in a highly visible location. If this poster is not posted in your workplace, please file a complaint. It's on the ground. So I think they've already failed there. Uh, we also, I think, need to go back 
to Kelvin, if that's what is going to be written in the game. That would be easier to follow. Okay, Zuni. How is your character compared to the last one? Probably the same. Okay, so we do start with the same stuff, but this time I actually customized my character. Zuni Tosball, too cool for school with those glasses for sure. More money, I have $98, that's true this time. Okay, let us um, work on some trades. Let's spend at least a couple years working on some trades. I really don't want to have permanent vision impairment. Because I want to be able to see further when we are salvaging ships. So that just seems like... A decent one year to get some eyesight. Your insomniac is probably not that bad. Unfit is more tired by exertion than most. Might be worth getting rid of that. Did we have sharp hearing and now we don't? Glasses are cool. I agree. Glasses are cool. Okay. Uh, let's try... Getting rid of Feeble again like we did the first time, but this time I'm actually gonna pick a couple. Dude, I wanna be so funny. <laughs> I wanna be so funny, please, <laughs> please. It'll take three years, okay. I'm going to comedy school for three years. That's probably a total waste. Let's also become a dirty liar. Is physically stronger than most people. If you don't laugh, I will beat you up. Do you understand? Now I'm going to work on some skills that can use that strength. Uh, what do we do? I mean, melee is the most obvious, but, um, strength with construction just seems good, but I don't know what this actually translates to from a gameplay perspective. Let's do unarmed melee and construction. Okay, I am 29 years old. Let us also save some money. Ship breaking is a nearly impossible grind, but you know with enough discipline, you can leave each month with a little extra cash socked away. So you cut back on drinking, swap a few kiosk meals for trencher's chow, even take an extra shift here and there. It's not much, but by the end of the year, you got something that's beginning to resemble a nest egg. All right, we have 500 bucks now. Strong and fragile at the same time? I am a glass cannon. Okay, I have to land the first blow. All right, let's get rid of something bad. Like, spend three years not getting as tired. We can also seek a ship. I'm already 33, chat. Ogiso's register has given this vessel an OSR of moderate, indicating that it is legal for sale, but does not possess ship systems beyond basic travel and life support. The Ryoka. 2059. Destination Salvage Tug. 4,200 kilograms of mass, four RCS thrusters, no torch drive, and it is not docked. Where? How do we even get to that? Let's take the ship. 
You're now the proud owner of a TU-77A, and you can now reach some of the outer derelicts beyond the watchful eye of the Yardmasters. Maybe with some replacement parts, elbow grease, and a little luck, one of those hulks could be made spaceworthy. Technically, it'd be stealing from the junkyard. Stealing junk, but still stealing. And Harbor Master Adeyemi won't like it when he finds out. Worked on self. Became a liar. Proceed to launch area. Okay. We will do just that. What is this? An angle grinder? No room in your inventory. What is in my inventory? Click pause or space to pause. Objective complete. You can change playback speed to fast forward the game. Purchase starting supplies. You're about to be walking into dark damaged airless hulks. Shop accordingly. Self-worth confident in themselves. Unafraid of security. Has enough personal space. Feels unfulfilled. Has no intimate needs right now. Is disconnected from their family. Feels like another face in the crowd. Unremarkably social. Wishes people would stop nagging them. Is cool and distant and totally useless. Me IRL. Uh, feeling well-groomed and also need some shoes. Do you think people in the future will have last names based on what major corporation they work for, like how people used to have names based on their job? No, I think since we invented stickers and name tags, we can just put the job um, right there on their shirt. And we don't need to... We, you can name yourself whatever you want, you know? Why do we have to make that our last name? Stickers are humanity's crowning achievement. I agree with that. Think about sticker books. They're so cool. We're currently a middle-aged comedian with a heart surgery scar. <laughs> I have an allergic sensitivity. Skilled in spaceship engineering. Skilled in zero-g. Ops. Oh, these don't go over to the right. So sometimes these are the same. Like, skilled in and construction are the same line. They just don't go over for some reason. Okay. Anyway, I've got a pressure suit, a Pathfinder protective suit, which will insulate the wearer from hard vacuum and little else. Caution, air supply is limited to what is trapped inside once sealed, usually only a few minutes of air. And I have a pressure suit helmet, attaches to the neck with seals rated acceptable by at least one system standards organization. We got a Phobius work lamp, a ubiquitous industrial floodlight, comes with magnetic grip feet. Crucial to any would-be salvager. Uh, soldering iron. A cheap way to solder metal. We have Kung Pao chicken in our hip pocket. <laughs> Ugh. The packaging is a biosolid which is just as technically edible as the contents. This one is Kung Pao chicken, though it couldn't be further from either of those things. And a drink pouch. Though for optimal results, future food recommends consumption while stationary, even though you can drink it while on the go. And we have a friction stir welder, suitable for welding in pressurized and vacuum environments. And in my pocket, I have the got, oh no, this is on the ground. I have a got angle grinder. What am I, what? That's a portal PDA. Will interface with most electronic subsystems like ship nav stations or other personal computers. I think leaving this on the ground Probably not ideal. What is this? That is a toolbox. Um, how open toolbox? Wait. How do you open the toolbox? Uh, because it used to... It, like, I played Neo Scavenger, and it's not opening the same way. <laughs> the toolbox. Oh, is this by the Neo Scavenger? I think it's the top inventory slot. Oh, yeah. 
it is the toolbox up here. So if I put the PDA in the toolbox and then just hold the angle grinder, then we can have our cake and eat it too, maybe. Okay, let's get out of here then. We gotta buy some supplies though, right? Did you remember to pack a lamp and a crowbar? <laughs> Negative. I did not. Launch your ship. Once your career gives you a ship, launch here. Okay. So, I remember sort of screwing this up the first two attempts and then figuring out some things that I would need on the on the further attempts. So the first run here is going to be the longest setup for the shortest actual game. And then we'll sort of have an idea of what we want better on the next one, I think. So I'm just anticipating dying really early and spending a disproportionate amount of time in the character creator on this one. Uh, we got toolboxes. More toolboxes. There's a crate, heat sinks, motors. I'm sure you can actually build some stuff with this. I'm going to buy... Ooh, a fire extinguisher sounds like a good thing to bring on a spaceship, you know? Uh, an O2 canister. Designed to contain oxygen used by EVA suits. It's a critical component of fire and water, and you guess it's ice. I say we buy at least two of those. I got $96... Out of 512 in my pocket. Probably want more than two. Dude, the crate is like new! Hole patch. Sealant and semi-solid hole substitute patch jobs will restore a damaged compartment's uh, means of retaining pressure. Let's buy those. Boop, 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 boop. Emergency cabling, screwdriver, $150. Okay, we definitely need a crowbar. Uh, do I already have a screwdriver by chance? I'm gonna, I, there was a couple tools in my pocket. A splint? You don't need one of those. We'll probably find scrap cloth. Cigarette boxes. Anti-nausea pills. We got hydrocodone, amoxicillin, pain pet meds, and antibiotics. I don't need that. Um, some clothes. New EVA suits. That's seventy-five hundred bucks, dude. An extra. Ooh, there's a backpack. Okay, backpack, and then we're almost broke. <laughs> <laughs> a canvas backpack designed to carry everything you might need um, and then what else should I buy chat with my last I have $82 probably food and water right that's 300 bucks for a drink pouch oh my god shoes Okay, yeah, we need shoes. Do they have any shoes? I'm barefoot. I think you wear the EVA suit and it covers up everything. Temporarily, I don't see shoes, though. Mystery meat in a surprise sauce. It's uh, among the line's most honest labeling. Imagine never needing outside shoes, just a spacesuit. <laughs> it's possible. I'm gonna say another food. Let's let's get some nacho fiesta. Okay, um where does this stuff go? Why do I still have 189 bucks? Means item is equipped. Okay, so we at, we do have the backpack equipped. Here's the backpack. 
right here. And now we got two units of food. There's nothing on the ground. Where is the rest of my stuff? Why do I have this icon over me? What is all of this? Behavior, automatic, wander, cocoon, write home, remember your family, browse social app, organize your to-dos, or remember cheating death. Okay. Chat, nobody else has played this game ever. Can you craft stuff in this game? I think you definitely can craft stuff. I don't know where the rest of my items are that I just bought. Because we're missing some oxygen packs. I think it's still in the kiosk. That's what I was thinking. Send items to barter zone is what this is on. So it's in... Maybe you needed to get the backpack first and I still have $189. So it may not have bought some of the things. Where, like, the barter zone is like a separate location. I'll be able to pick up, I, but I don't know which things it didn't buy, which things it did. Okay, that's okay. We'll just buy extra. Uh, let's get the food again. I have no idea if it purchased the fire extinguisher. That was 240 so I assume it did buy the fire extinguisher because that was expensive, and I can't afford it again anyways. We had some hole patches... And then, so I want to be 100% sure we got a crowbar. And then I have about $40 left to spend. I think I had some O2 bottles. Okay, that's a little too much. There we go. There's some hole patches. The Nacho Fiesta and the O2 bottle. Okay, so at least I got those things on my person right now. I can also put... Oh, there! I'm holding the Nacho Fiesta. Okay, well we have uh, four food units. We're gonna need some water. Let's go ahead and go. <laughs> I'm sure... I'm sure this will be fine. We're just going to space. What's in the cell menu? What do you think is in the cell menu? It's all the stuff that I have. Here we go. Pressing launch will end character creation and begin the game. If you want to make any other changes, press cancel, escape, or the X in the top right. Otherwise, launch to proceed to your character's starting scenario. Note, any items not carried or dragged while launching will be discarded. I think I've got everything. Says we're ready. Off we go. With one last look back at the barracks, you've called home all these years, you step through the threshold into your salvage pod. It won't get far on its own, but you know of at least a few derelicts out there in the K-Leg Boneyard that might be candidates for your next ship. Start checking out derelicts and choose one to make your own. They can't take the sky from you. Use the nav station to take a look around local space. Press X to see how damaged everything is. Okay, so X is sort of an overlay that lets us mouse over stuff and see how screwed up it is. We probably have a limited amount of, of oxygen. I don't know if this thing is just pumping out O2 or not. I need to figure out how to inspect everything. 
This ship is a piece of garbage. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, roster, we have Zuni Tazbolt <laughs> with a RimWorld-esque work schedule, which is just work, 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 around the clock, no sleep. I thought you bought a ship. What? This is the ship. This is that, yeah. This is ours. No gigs taken. Find gigs at your nearest gig nexus today. Are you a pro? Ready to start taking and turning in gigs on the go? Subscribe, asterisk, to pro gig status to unlock gig management tools in the palm of your hand. Offer valid in select locations. Offers and offer elements, including but not limited to participating locations and eligible gigs, are subject to availability, network capacity, station closures, and additional restrictions and exclusions. May change or be canceled without notice and are not guaranteed. Must purchase a valid Gig Nexus Pro subscription for full access to special features. Pro management features may not be available for certain gigs and at certain locations, including kiosks that are not owned or operated by Gig Nexus. Not valid in combination with other offers, discounts, promotions, or with any previous purchase. Minimum subscription term and or separate upgrades may be required. Offers are for personal use only and may not be transferred or resold. Did you get all that trap? That's going to be on the test. <laughs> Build! Oh, all right, we've got a lot of systems and things that I am not going to remember. But we can make our own ship. Only apply to items of type wall, floor, conduit, can equip loose. Okay. So, Zuni Tosbolt, how you feeling? I'm feeling like our ship is a hunk of junk. Um, let's see. I'm just going to follow the goals for now. Use the nav station to look around local space. Okay, let's do that. Nav station. Uh, we should probably link to the PDA. That, that just seems like a thing that makes sense. The vessel name is the Red Wield. Uh, this vessel's name is the... This many options stresses me out. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of stuff to learn at the, at the beginning. How about... The, the vessel name is going to be <laughs> the Lost Hope, the gar the garbage bean, the garbanzo bean, the flying latrine, the hot mess, the beeble. I want to name it the sponge bath. Registration BQ10, Ryoka TU77A model in 2059. Because the sponge bath is what's going to be necessary to get this ship back in any sort of working order. Okay, let's close this menu. And check the nav station and see what's up here. Oh, I thought I was on pause. Don't crash! That's a great suggestion. Docking checklist. Click target. Rotate to BRG equals zero, aka 360, so bearing equals zero. Fly to target. Leave room to slow down. When range is less than five kilometers, switch to docking screen. Request clearance. Line up rings. Approach at less than 100 meters per second. When light screen engage clamps, and then shots for everybody. Cheat sheet, POR nearest biggest grab well. Uh, relative velocity is VREL, VCRS is cross velocity sideways, range bearing zeros dead ahead. Yep, I know that from flight sim. Delta V is remaining fuel in meters per second. I remember that too. RCS thrusters. 
and ETA chat ETA's estimated time of arrival, just in case you didn't know that one. <laughs> Helping. R equals no no rotation. ETA is short for ETAL. True. Okay, map controls. RCS maneuvers flying mode. I'm not going to remember any of this. Planet, sheep, me, target, question mark. <clears throat> we'll, we'll take a look at that again in a minute. Okay, put that away for now. Uh, this game, as you can tell, is very much designed with the intention of making you feel like you're actually sitting here in the spaceship and figuring things out, in our case, as we go, much to some disastrous results. We're gonna be pushing some buttons. All right, this is us. OKLG, I think, is the station. Yep, we targeted the station for K-Leg. All right, press the E key to rotate your ship clockwise. Clockwise thrust calibrated. We're spinning, chat. We're spinning. Press Q until spinning counterclockwise. Okay, spin. Hold R until it stops spinning. Uh, don't we have a limited amount? I actually didn't do that. How much thrust do we have? Use rotation controls until the ship is pointing towards OKLG, bearing near zero. All right, bearing is right here at 60.07, so we want to stop that at about zero. This is like trying to get the gas pump to stop on a round number. Oop. Press S or down arrow to thrust backwards up to 400 meters per second. I don't want to do that. 0.7. Okay, it's the best I can do. Oops. What the hell did I just click? They want me to go backwards until I get to 400 meters per second away from the station? Is that what... Is that, am I reading this right? Okay. Why are we... <laughs> They want me to go backwards until we get to 400 meters per second, I guess? Rear thrust calibrated. Noom. Goodbye. Press W to reduce uh, VREL below 10 meters per second. Relative velocity. There we go. Forward thrust calibrated. Press D to thrust right up to 400. Okay, now we're going this direction. Check. Noom. Press A to reduce below 10 meters per second. Got it. All right, thrust has been calibrated. Now I can uh, come to a stop, zoom out, and click on an asterisk to target a derelict boneyard. Chat, did you know space is big? Space do be big. Travel to within range of less than five kilometers of your target and slow down until relative velocity is low. Okay, one thing they didn't tell me is how do you come to a relative stop? I know how to stop rotating. Um, is there... A mode that lets me stop my relative velocity. Mm, 
Lol, where did you park? <laughs> There is a AI ship. Whoa. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Zuni is searching for intimacy in space. Possible collision imminent. What? Easy. Easy. A ship just came within three whole kilometers of us. Objective complete proximity alarm. We're not searching for that kind of intimacy. Let them just, let them go. All right, what's my goal? Let's go to a derelict. Okay, so we need, we want the bearing to be zero, so we're gonna rotate around. Oh, way too much, way too much. We want the nose pointing towards that. At about 360. There we go, that's pretty good. And now I'm just going to accelerate forward to at least, I would say, 400 meters per second. Okay. Um, I'll have to click on switch to docking screen when below five kilometers and leave room to uh we're gonna we're gonna slow down before we get to that okay then i have long range course plots i can run diagnostics i can also alternate between whether wasd controls the map yeah or RCS so we don't accidentally change anything. This is basically just like an override for us. All right, how close are we? My bearing ETA 30 seconds. Chat, where do I see distance to target? I'm gonna go ahead and flip. And then start to, oh, it's just range. So we're like nine kilometers away. I'm gonna slow down to like 200 meters per second. So we just need to get to about five kilometers and then we can switch to docking mode. So I know I'm gonna miss it by a bit off to the side. Not drowning waving. All right, see now. We're under five kilometers. We're gonna slow down. Switch to docking controls. Cleared to dock. Wrong way. Wait, wait, I saw it on the scopes. Possible collision, how close am I to the target? Oh, there it is. There it is, I found it. All right, I'm just rotating the ship. Let's line it up. Getting, this is good, this is good. Now, this is us on the left, moving closer to the target. So if I accelerate forward, we should slow down. Wait, it's doing the opposite of what I want it to do. What do, what? <laughs> Hold on, why, okay. Time out, time out, it's getting very close. Line it up! Hold! Engage the clamps! 
The clamps on your docking ring engage and your hull resonates like a struck gong. While your sensors scan the vessel for data, you close your eyes and imagine the fortune that could await you on the other side. Perhaps you found a racing skiff, a nimble vessel with a lightweight hull pushed around by a top-of-the-line RCS package and a four-can Miura Hydra intake regulator. Or maybe you stumbled on a multi-cabin pleasure yacht, an elite a catamaran complete with full bar and corridors adorned with yards of crimson and cream Van Hummel interiors. Or maybe it's just a dead freighter, a decades-old Tetsudo hauler packed with trash and sporting a giant hole where the reactor used to be. This is a junkyard, after all. Whatever it is, it's yours now if you want it. Yours to strip for parts or with a little work. Even fly. Okay, let us continue. Here's the problem, though, right? We are docked to an unknown baby vessel. This thing is tiny. It is a Testudo 97 series. This thing is tiny, but guess what I don't have? I don't have a lot of oxygen. So, what I can do is... Um, I can equip my pressure suit. There we go. And then we're going to leave the clothes on the ground. This is a Pathfinder protective suit which insulates the wearer from hard vacuum. Caution, air supply is limited to what is trapped inside once sealed. Usually only a few minutes. See, I have boots as part of the pressure suit, right? Man's just docked at 150 kilometers per hour. Did I just dock at 150 kilometers per hour? I don't think I was going that fast. Wasn't I going like 10 or 20 meters per second? Uh, anyway, I got O2 bottles. Wait, do I only have one extra O2 bottle? I assume that you can, you can, chat, does the, I don't know if a pressure suit equals an EVA suit for all intents and purposes. So I think I'm just gonna have to like, Keep my backpack. Let me get organized here. Let me get organized. Okay, in my top pocket is a soldering iron. I have a stir welder. And then I have an angle grinder. So why don't we hold the angle grinder? Hey, what's up, Nerd Castle? The Raiders are coming in! How's it going, guys? Welcome, Splattercat. Thanks for the raid, Swedish, Howdy, Starfire, Argentum, Mercarium, Trajan, Maneo is raiding. Hey, thanks everybody for dropping by. Splattercat just docked with this stream. <laughs> I think so. Raid! Aldeter, what's up? Joke on Dan X. Hello there. Uh, we just started playing a brand new game. This is, we just docked with our literal first ship. Uh, I should pause the game, probably. And uh, playing some astronauts, which I know Splat's been playing a considerable amount more than me over the years. I haven't played this since the early access first released, so I have a lot of stuff to catch up on. Yes, Astronauts is by the devs of Neo Scavenger, which I have played quite a bit. 
A uh, lot of Neoscav. Love Neoscav. But I'm really glad that um, all the hacking stuff is mostly resolved now, if not totally resolved. And you got your YouTube channel back and restored. For those of you on my channel who didn't uh, hear about this, Splattercat got hacked recently and had a bunch of issues with Hackerman's disrupting um, all accounts online, basically, and uh, it was just a huge ordeal, but I'm really glad that all control, I think, has been restored at this point, and hopefully business can resume as usual, because I know that was a huge pain in the ass. But big shout out to Splat if you're not already following him. He's an awesome content creator on both YouTube and Twitch. That yeah, you should definitely uh, go his head out his way. Maybe see a little bit more, more definitely more variety than you're gonna see here on this channel. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five is not a good password. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is our first uh, time sort of scavenging another ship. So I am not good at this. I I. I I have no clue what the meta is for this game. So I'm just reading stuff, learning stuff, and uh, exploring as we go and having a good time because I really, really like Neoscav and I've been looking forward to coming back to this for a while. We're going to keep the work lamp. We'll take that with us 100%. Uh, I guess we'll keep the whole patches with us. I don't think we're going to get hungry. Where do you actually see a food meter? Does it just say, like, they're feeling hungry down here on the, um, the little update at the bottom? We're playing as a middle-aged comedian who is a glass cannon, strong and fragile simultaneously. Um, can't sleep very well, is a filthy liar. Poor hearing, but we got rid of our poor eyesight, even though we're wearing these uh, 3000 upvote glasses. And it's a uh, bottom right, it says sated. Status lights in the bottom left. Sorry, bottom left. Status lights... In the bottom left. Oh, yep, right here. Okay, gotcha. <sighs> okay, anyway, as far as what we're bringing onto our... It's a small derelict. I think we're just bringing everything else, because I got... Just a little bit of food, some hole patches, and this useless O2 bottle, so... Don't need oxygen in space. That would be silly. So let's go... Let's, uh, let's put our helmet on, and uh, get ready to open it up. We have to make do with the limited amount of air. Yeah that we're gonna have. So the game's paused at the moment. We got an O2 low and CO2 high warning indicator on the right side of the pressure suit here. So let's go ahead and unpause and open up the airlocks. I'm gonna close the airlock behind me and here we go. Chat, it is dark in here. Um, how do you set up this light? Where did my light go? <laughs> did I did I leave the the light on the ship? Was it on the ground? <laughs> I think I left the light. It was I thought it was in my po oh it was in the pocket of my overalls. I left my keys in the house. Yep, I left my keys in the house. We're gonna have to close that airlock. There we go, and uh, open the other airlock. Low pressure alert. Um, chat, how do you check the pressure of an interior before you take... I guess the top right would tell you it's 87 kPa. Temperature is uh, 291 Kelvin and increasing... Is it safe to take my, my oxygen, I mean, my uh, helmet off? I don't know what, like, the temperature is still stabilizing. I think it's stable. It's a bit cold, but fine. O2 is 21 kPa, CO2 is zero. So I think that that's fine. All right, let's take, let's take the helmet off. And hopefully not succumb to the elements. So, on the floor... Yep, 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 yep. I, 
<laughs> these were in my pocket. Uh, so I need to bring these in the toolbox. There's the work lamp. There's the welder. There's the soldering iron. I don't think we'll be able to use the food or the drink pouch, but definitely the screwdriver. Okay, put the vac suit back on, or the, the pressure suit, I should say. And now, um, these are just pouches on the pressure suit, right? So I should be able to fit... some of these things into said pouches. And then head out again. But anyway, uh, those of you that came over from Splash Channel, what were you guys playing today? Didn't get a chance to get on the PC before the stream started. Probably going to turn some music on here, too. Right now, we just have to listen to the cold emptiness of space. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Let's get this light set up. How do you place this? Ah, let's see. There we... <laughs> okay, was I just about to fly out into the cold vacuum of space? Yes, I am floating. Am I gonna float away from my ship? Uh, I don't know if there's walls on this thing. It, it could have a ceiling blown off. You're hopping over a hole in the hole. Okay. Fair enough. I also missed a bunch of subs earlier. I'll take a look at those. Okay, there's an in two canister. How much stuff should I actually be scavenging? Like, should I be picking up nitrogen wherever I see it? Let's just let's just take a look at the inventory on the ground. I need to go over here. Oh yeah, that was just hopping over. There was a hole in the in the ship, huh? Into canister. Do I have to uninstall that? What tool does that require? Oh, we're 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 whittling it down. What is this game about, if you don't mind me asking? This game is about being um, isolated on board of a ship. Uh, the, the short answer is, at the moment, it's about starting with a piece of crap and then finding derelicts and then stripping them for parts and or finding one that you want to make your own ship and you can technically repair any of these vessels that you come across and make them space worthy with enough effort. What am I what am I doing? Chat, is the N2 canister massive? <laughs> okay. It is massive. Oh. We're dragging it back. Okay, how do I close this airlock? Then open mine. Okay, let's drop the N2 canister on the floor. Close up my airlock. <sighs> we have plenty of oxygen in here, so it should be fine to go ahead and take off the helmet. Probably turn off the lamp so we don't waste the battery. But this is my ship, and it is barely functional, as you can see. Much of it is damaged. Um, it's it's barely space worthy, uh, but it's a game that that simulates things like uh, oxygen levels, nitrogen levels, CO2 levels, um, air pressure, temperature, space welding, building, um, docking. Like I said, with derelicts and and finding like just space loot boxes, but these are different things that you can build. You can build full HVAC systems. Um, auto saving. We got the ability to lay conduit for power, 
install your own fusion reactors, get battery charging stations, various types of sensors and alarms so that you can see if your O2 or CO2 levels are where you don't want them to be. Uh, these are RCS clusters. You can build your own nav station. So you can basically get a, a, a ship from scrap to completely space worthy if you know how to do it. And your character has their own set of skills, traits, that you pick at the beginning of the game. And it's uh, randomly generated as well along the way. All right, let's pause for a second. Basically Hades. Yeah, basically Hades. But anyway, really appreciate the raid. Thanks again, Nerd Castle, for coming over and saying hi. Hopefully that explains a little bit about what the game is. Uh, I missed a bunch of subs. Thank you, Paplatz, who says, Well, this game accurately simulates how it felt to sit inside of a huge cardboard box when you were five years old and pretend it was a spaceship. That it does, actually. That it does. Thank you, Paplatz. Fluffy Panda for big 60 months. Hello, Fluffy. Robo says, Enhance. Thanks, Robo. Way to Dawn. Appreciate the tier one sub again. Toonut for 46 months. Glaring at chat. Welcome back, Toonut. Sisyphus says, Hope you're well, Etal. Thanks for the fun content. Hey. My pleasure. It's fun to jump back into this. I do enjoy this game quite a bit. Deadbeat Artist says, Astronauts. Are we space ostriches? Uh, hello, Afnor. Thank you for the prime. Uchu Morlaska says, what is words? I think you figured it out. And we also got smile for fun earlier. Thanks, everybody. Much appreciated. Welcome back. Okay. So, I don't know what to do with this in two canister, but damn it, it's mine now. So, let's do um, another little look-see. The helmet on. So the reason we take the helmet off is because this is just a pressure suit. It doesn't have any exterior oxygen. The pressure suit does what it says and, and maintains pressure inside the suit, but it only has a local amount of oxygen that is present once you put the helmet on. Um, the oxygen inside the suit is all you get. So CO2 starts building up, oxygen starts depleting, and therefore I'm pausing so you can just look down here to see if the game is paused so that our oxygen doesn't deplete unnecessarily. Let's do this. Let's actually go and save the game, number one. Number two, I want to get some space soundtrack on because I do enjoy the soundtrack of this game, but I also would enjoy kind of more constant audio. So how about, since we were already listening to this at the beginning of stream, why not continue where we left off? Okay, so we're going to be pausing, unpausing, sort of uh, back and forth. Here we go. We want to close the airlock behind us because, as it suggests, the airlock is maintaining uh, air pressure and temperature inside of our ship. We also have a, a lamp that we are holding in our hands. And uh, we're just checking this ship for pieces. I don't know if electronic parts are actually good, but it doesn't sound bad. Carbon fiber and aluminum is also something that's probably very common. I assume mechanical parts are incredibly common as well. And we can sort of examine different pieces. I don't really know what I'm looking for quite yet, but there's a hole blown open in the side of this ship. There's a damaged battery, but yeah, we're just looking for anything that might be something that we can repurpose uh, on our ship. And I don't see anything, but if you if you do see something, that's some back seating that I wouldn't necessarily mind, as long as I've already missed it, uh, then feel free, because I need to figure out what I'm actually looking for here. All right, let's go find a different vessel. I think one of my questions is whether or not, um, whether or not I need to wear, oopsie, chat, am I getting sloppy? Maybe. We still have plenty of oxygen and CO2. It might be a little chilly. I saw some breath. Hello, everyone. Chat is in a, is in a hello kind of mood right now. People arrive, people, hey. Oh, what I was gonna say was, <clears throat> I'm not, I don't remember what I was gonna say. A manual for the nav console. 
Polaris Standard Nav Console. Owner's Manual and Pilot Handbook. It's just on the floor. Chad, how much time do you have? This is this kind of game. I think those of you who are like, what kind of game is this? It's this kind of game. A ring binder. Nice. Yes. Hello, Eton. What's up, Ameth? In-game wiki. But yeah, this is just like a lot of terms that you may want to know. It's a glossary. This is what the device keys do on the nav panel. All right, I actually do want to know what these buttons do. Zooms map view to station, zooms map view to planet, zooms map view to inner planets, and then outer planets. Okay, that's what these buttons are right there. Uh, this is why I'm streaming at 1080p today. Plus rate increases time dilation on the map. Ah, so you can speed up time. Returns map to real time, sets focus of map to ship. Which button is that? Ship track. Oh, it's tracking mode right there. Okay. So you can track the target, the ship, turn off tracking for free roam, focus on the target. Focus map to berry center between ship and target. Ooh, that's nice. Toggles nav mode to reaction control system maneuvering, RCS maneuvering, or map controls. Turn off the proximity warning bell. You can clear the alarm. That's cool. Sets acceleration to maximum G-force during long-range travel. Decrease G-force max or increase max in the chat. We're going to go... How many, how many Gs can the human body sustain without training? <laughs> Like two. Warning. Operating a fusion reactor drive produces a controlled nuclear blast approximately 300 meters behind your spacecraft and an exhaust plume sometimes exceeding 50 kilometers. Local system and station authorities strictly regulate fusion reactor operation. Flying under torch without appropriate permissions is illegal and dangerous to yourself and others. Please alert said authorities and ensure you are in open space with adequate clearance before entering fusion burn. Polaris Astronautics Limited and its subsidiaries are not responsible for any damage to ship stations or other parties suffered during fusion ignition and or high velocity burn. Fifty kilometers is a lot of kilometers. Okay, right, I'm sure there's more pertinent information here. But uh, organizing inventory is the name of the game. I don't know what to do with this N2 canister. Uh, pressure suit needs to go in my toolbox so I don't lose it. We're just going to drop some electronic parts on the ground. Alright, I say we just head back to the nav console. And look for another derelict. What do you say? Let's go here. Objective complete. Travel to within docking range. Yep, I did be doing that. All right, let's head to the next closest one. Uh, gain clearance to dock. Request clearance to dock with target. Okay, we've, we've kind of done that. So this is about a uh, question mark, about 40 kilometers away. So what we're going to do first is, um, I think I'm ahead of the tutorial. Like it wants me to dock with the thing that I'm already docked with and request um, permission to dock. but I already have. But let's request clearance for pushback slash taxi. I've played Microsoft Flight Sim. I know what's going on here. And uh, we cleared ourselves. 
So, now that uh, we've got, we've, we've given ourselves clearance. I've already docked with the derelict, but thank you. We are going to disengage the clamps. Well, that's not how you disengage the clamps, silly. I don't know how to disengage the clamps. I was just pretending like I knew what I was doing. Wait, did we disengage the clamps? How do I get the menu back up? Back to the ring binder. <laughs> yes, back to the ring binder. All right, I finished the tutorial first. Press the N key to open the zones menu. Oh, I'm not, pa I'm paused right now. The N key to open the zones menu. Ah, select tiles on the ground and press the add new zone button. No, okay, fine. Zone created, one square. We can make it a stockpile zone, a barter zone, or a forbidden zone. Or delete the zone. Okay, we've completed our little tutorial objectives. The forbidden zone. So we got a target. Uh, dock system clamp. Warning, no clearance. Do not warn me again. We need clearance for pushback taxi. Did I just collide? Where? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> I can't see anything. Right, get me off this menu. I understand the why I was initially confused in this game at first. You Okay, let me pause for a second. Right? Look at my ship. I have a question for both chat and the developers of this game. When you were in the docking menu, and you were approaching a target, okay? You have to line up the nose of the ship to dock with it. To see what I'm talking about, right? I am reversing away with RCS thrusters. But if you take a look at where we are, we got the nose here pointed to the nose there. So what was initially confusing to me is we actually, our dock is on the rear of the ship. But I guess because gamers are stupid, um, instead of having it where the controls are, the controls are inverted because we're dumb, I guess. But, like, because I was initially trying to use the controls as they would be um, with the ship orientation the way that it is in real space. And that's why I was, like, crashing into the, the dock. So, when you, like, okay, let's say you're accelerating towards a target. When you flip and burn in order to slow yourself down, you have to rotate back around to line up with the, the dock. It's weird. It's like how in Kerbal Space Program you can do right-click control from here. It's just that the game does it automatically for you. It sounds confusing. I'll explain on the next... On the next location. Okay, so what we need to do is now navigate around BCOB. Bring your own corn on the cob. We're gonna um, strafe to the left. So we're using RCS thrusters to push in the direction of the hologram here. And then uh, we're gonna autosave. 
We're going to hold W to accelerate forward. Towards a different target. We're just trying to avoid any sort of collision course with conflict averse here. Okay, now we're going to sort of angle strafe back to the right. Our relative velocity to the target is about 300 meters per second. Uh, I'm going to try and get the bearing, oops, closer to 360 or zero, which is difficult to do. Okay, so anyways, see, we're, we're, we're nosing towards the target, right? We're facing the target right now, approaching it close to 400 meters per second. And we got plenty of space. About 10 kilometers away. So now what we're going to do is flip. And slow down by ex accelerating forward as we get a little closer. Okay, 7 kilometers. 6 kilometers. We're about 200 meters per second relative velocity. Five kilometers, and now we're close enough to dock, so we're just gonna go ahead and accelerate to slow down. I accelerated a bit too much, though. Okay, so proximity alarm's going off. We're gonna go ahead and clear that and switch to docking controls, selecting the target of unknown origin, request clearance to dock with it. And then, um, see, I have to flip the entire ship around with Q to face the target. Because I was uh, facing it with re in reverse before. So there's the target. So we are still... Um, the bearing is basically accurate. We need to hold R to stop spinning. Oh, easy, easy. See, that's the, that's the part that's confusing. The dock is on the back of the ship, right? So if you, um, if your dock is facing the target while you are coming in within five kilometers, you have to then flip the ship around to line up with the target. So our nose is actually facing the dock right now. But then when we dock, we exit through the rear of the ship. Unless we're flying the ship backwards. That's the only plausible explanation. Like, if, if we're flying the ship backwards by default and all the controls are reversed. All right, how fast are we going? Relative velocity is 12 meters per second. Like, very, very, very slow. Five, six meters per second. Okay, get a little closer. Wait for the clamp engage. To light up. Did I just bump into it? Oh, no, we just we just engaged the clamps. Okay. Why why are we getting warning sounds? Track warn. Chat, am I getting uh is there a patrol boat coming out to investigate? Are the police coming? <laughs> I think it's the fuzz. I haven't done anything illegal! Possible collision imminent! I'm sorry? Local authority ship scan activity de detected, spotted, local authority closing fast. It's getting louder. Are they they're scanning? Where's the ship? Chat, if there's a, if there's a collision, I need to be wearing my suit.
put the helmet on, then I can't hear them anymore. I think this patrol is just sort of, like, hanging out. They wouldn't crash into you on purpose, would they? Uh, I don't think so. All right, here we go. We got uh, triumphant Mass Effect noises. Turn on the light so we can see what's going on in here. <sighs> There's a motor component? I don't know if that's good or just trash. Turbo air pump, mechanical parts. If we if we know what we're looking for, we can also like. What is this? Is there a door here? Door closed and damaged. Um. Access the lock. Chat. Do you know the password? <laughs> There's no power. Uh, we have to we have to strip the door off, wouldn't we? We'd have to somehow take the entire door off, which I'm imagining is going to be a challenge. Are you going to be coming across bodies and stuff? I guess that's possible. We can sort of see through a window. There's a battery charging station in here. Various cabling. Yeah, this is this is going to be a lengthy project. So we're just watching uh, behind my face is O2 low and CO2 warning. So when those pop up, that's when time is starting to run out for us. So this is maybe not worth, but I don't have any concept of what is or isn't worth right now. We can just go times two speed. This is like doing various activities in um, Project Zomboid. This is actually good because it'll give me a good idea of how much oxygen we have in this suit. Because we only have whatever we have when we put the helmet on. My question is, is this what tool is this using? Like if I use an angle grinder, would that be faster? Or is it automatically using the angle grinder? And if we turn the light out, does that mean we can't work anymore <laughs> if we put the toolbox on the ground okay and then put the angle grinder in our hand what am I doing I don't know if that does anything better What is this uh time like what does this little icon mean? This one. Is the goal to get stuff to sell from derelict spaceships at the moment? The goal is just to experiment and see how the game works. I saw a liar. Don't trust anything this streamer says. Did we open the door? We did open the door. There are sparks. I'm sure that that will not result in any sort of fire. Uh, there is a loose damaged door. You can actually just take the door. <laughs> that's my that's my PDA. This is a long ship trap. Oh boy.
How do we get over there? There is a locked door. We have a motherboard component. There's a motor. I still don't know really what to do with any of this, but um, I see no harm in taking the loots. A damaged gas canister and a turbo air pump that is off. I think motherboards are going to be very common. Well, I will say the ship is a bit larger than the last one. We don't want to get too far away because obviously, um... We don't want to run out of oxygen. Let's see how this battery charging station works. Ooh, there's two batteries, two power packs in this thing. Power pack designed for the Bingham 12 EVA suits custom requirements. Powers, air circulation, vitals monitoring, and other attendant functions. I mean, batteries have got to be worth taking. I don't know how I feel about grabbing all these motherboards. It might be completely useless. And then the charging station, if we could figure out how to uninstall that and, like, take the whole charging station for ourselves, that would be pretty sweet if it's still functional. It's very damaged, but it should still work. And we're really close to the ship, so I think it's safe to, um... Fast forward. But I need to keep an eye on the <clears throat> actual Pathfinder pressure suit stuff. Hello, Kaibo. People arrive. What happened? Yo, what's up? Welcome to stream. Are we sure the warning lights work? I have absolute confidence in the, my spacesuit that has been raided by at least one major corporation to tell me the truth. Why would they lie to me? They want my money, right? Dad, if I just if I just exist here, then you won't know if we're low on oxygen or high on CO2, you know? Then it'll be a surprise if I keel over. Zuni Tosbolt is doing her best right now. Okay, we should have a loose uh, charging station. What we're gonna try and do is... How do you get... No, I def... Ooh, I definitely don't wanna be on... How do you reset? Okay, that's just one time speed. I didn't realize you could go that fast, but yes, we're gonna take this with us. How close... This is big. Okay, CO2 is now high. <sighs> this is fine, right? CO2 is high. We still have time. Low pressure alert. That doesn't mean anything. We're feeling uh, short of breath, feels slow to make connections, is suffering advanced impacts of hypercapnia. <laughs> oh, that, that happens really fast. That happens so fast. Your warning really doesn't go off quickly enough. What are advanced impacts of hypercapnia exactly? Dude, hype! We should be fine, right? Relaxed, sated, comfortable, no pain. 
I think I just, uh, the, the thing is the light on the side comes on only when you get to this level. So I can't trust the light. I have to look at, uh, how do you, can, can you look at a log of these? I don't think that there's a log of this. It's just, it seems like it scrolls up really fast. It'd be nice if you could expand this menu and, and see everything that's been written there. I think advanced impacts might be hyperbolic. It might be, because I don't see any other impact, actually. Hello, no hit kill. Thanks for over three years of sub. Much appreciated. Thanks for the 37 months. And Madwax says, Happy New Year. Tell, do you have any New Year resolutions? <sighs> New Year's resolutions. Well, my the easiest New Year's resolution is to do all the things that we said we were going to do on the charity stream, which means a community stream. And there will be a Marvel Snap tournament with chat at some point because they are working on the ability for friend battles to exist. The question is, when will a spectator mode be added? Yeah, we're going to have a, a chat snap tournament whenever there is some way to spectate games. Hopefully that is something that's added because it'd be amazing. Hang up flags and sound panels. The sound panels, yes. The flags have already been up and they've been since taken down. So you just missed them. All right, what do I do with this battery charging station? It's sort of just here now. It's just gonna vibe with us a bit, right in the middle of the floor. Okay, let's go ahead and put the, oh, the light's been on. I guess that's fine. I don't know how I'm pulling these heavy things around with a toolbox and a light in my hand, but I'm not gonna complain. Let's also, we need some storage. Do we have anything that could could pass for some kind of storage box? I don't think so. I have a heater, air pump, a big battery over here. You can see the battery control panel. That's just, okay, 100% battery is good. Just clicking on stuff. To see what it, what the menus look like. Thermostat sensor input signal. Auto on off. I don't think we want to turn off the cooler, do we? Automatic is probably good. There's an oxygen pressure alarm. <laughs> alarm override. And a thermostat. Anything else of note in here? Just heater. Just open some things out. All right, well, let's just put some things on the ground then. Here you go. These are for you. Probably all useless. The batteries are not useless. All right, we're gonna go back? I think we go back. Not hungry yet. We'll just put the food on the ground. Whole patches on the ground. I feel like uh, the charge is at 99%. Is that for my, that's for my work lamp. Okay, the work lamp is a decent battery. Let's head back on board and see what there is. Gotta remember to put that helmet on each time. Away we go. I think there might be a door on this left-hand side. I saw a bulkhead bin container. There is a O2 canister. How do you tell if an O2 canister has O2 in it? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a rack. 
There's a crowbar? I don't know what happened to my crowbar. I definitely ordered a crowbar and I don't know where it went. So I got a crowbar here. There's a, another PDA. Is two, P, is two PDAs better than one, chat? Floor D? There's a floor and a splint for a broken limb. Works for arms or legs. Are there stations? There are stations, yes. I think it shows pressure when you mouse over the canister. Uh, pressure is 1300 kPa. So it is pressurized. It says O2 is 1300 kPa. So it does have oxygen in it, though I don't know how much 1300 is relative to like full. A bunch. Sounds like a bunch. Because I think we only need 20 kPa at any given time uh, for standard air. The rack is storage. It'd be nice to bring that along with us. But this is the issue, right? You have all very limited space, but there's so much stuff. And you can totally, like, pick a ship like this and, and bring it back to working order if you have the skills and the parts and the know-how. I have none of those things, but you could totally repair this, like, nav station here. There are other bits of ship out here. This door is closed and damaged. Does holding a crowbar assist in any way, shape, or form? When do you actually get to use a crowbar? Bash it. Bing, ba, bing, 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 bing. All right, secret labs. I didn't realize we were repeating. Sometimes you can pry a door when you have a crowbar, but not always. Does it need to be equipped? Or just in your inventory. And I'm not sure if uninstalling is better. We feel vaguely unwell and flushed. We might just be like tired. Because we've been doing a lot of work. And our character does need to rest, and we will need to eat, and we'll need to probably trade for water, but water is very expensive in space, as you might imagine. So the white bar is progress, and the blue bar is how much is left before... Okay, we need to go... Oop, let's slow this down. Easy. How do you go just back to normal speed? Thank you. We got hypercapnia starting to set in. Need to take the helmet off. Okay, we're no longer airtight, uh, but we are on our beautiful ship. Oh my god, this is so much trash. <laughs> this is a lot of trash. Oh, do not open that. We're gonna drop some more stuff on the ground. Here's a splint. I'll keep the crowbar. And off we go. Cool, you're revisiting astronauts. Has the game gotten better? I don't think it was ever, like, bad. I remember before it was buggy. I'm sure that there's still some bugs in early access. But, um, I've only been playing for, like, an hour, so... I have no concept of what is new or old content at this point. But yeah, I just enjoy um, exploring derelicts and 
looking for loot, and I think the game has enough complex systems to let you explore for a while. Somebody said uh, the game looked tedious at the beginning. The tedium is kind of the point. Like, everything is supposed to be a labor that you do. Like, it's, supposed, it's one of those games where you have to invest time. Oh, dear. This is uh, the vacuum of space out here. But yeah, it's one of those games where you just have to invest time to get anything done. Nothing is going to happen easily or for free. But it's the promise of finding something rare and valuable. I don't think we want to go over there. We should probably head back inside. Is that a door over here? There is another door over here. But yeah. Do we get better at uninstalling doors? Oh, I can already go in there. I've already been in here. I was looking at this O2 canister is what I was looking at. But yeah, I'm assuming we slowly skill up. This reminds me of Barrow Trauma. I haven't played Barrow Trauma, but I'm not entirely sure how it reminds you of Barrow Trauma. This is neither a co-op game that you scramble around playing with your friends, nor does it have... To my knowledge, at least, uh, random sea creatures that are going to eat your ship. Though it may have the occasional AI that uh, crashes into you, maybe. <laughs> Alright, I'm dragging the O2 canister back to the ship. Oxygen has to be worth something. It's space. It's similar in the way you interact. Space is basically water, right? Low pressure alert. Pressure is 52 kPa. Temperature is 292. Oxygen is 20. CO2 0.5. Should be safe to take off our helmet. Get some air. Let's turn off um, the hand lamp so we can serve battery. And we got to find a place for this O2 canister. <laughs> this wherever is fine. Looks like a teenager's bedroom. How dare you. A lot of repairing mechanical systems so your ship doesn't sink or blow up is similar to this. That's fair. What are the ships are like Event Horizon? I haven't watched Event Horizon in so long, Kaibo. But yeah, it is a game where I think the tedium is part of the fun, where it's like all the gameplay is this simulation to a fault level of gameplay that I find very appealing implicitly where everything's got a screen or a monitor and is, is very specific about how you're supposed to interact with it and you're sort of the gameplay is learning how the systems interact with each other and figuring out what you should and shouldn't prioritize when out and about I think we're gonna head over to let's let's just get an idea of what some things are worth. I'm just gonna take some some random parts. That's probably valueless. <sighs> what is this? Just wall pieces with like electronics. But yeah, let's let's head to an actual station and go and go see what a station looks like because I think I've done everything that I can do here. Ideally, we want to like get a new proper ship. So if we could find uh, a derelict that we actually like, dude, there's a crate here. Hold on, what is this? Dude, there's wine in there, and kung pao chicken. Say no more, fam. 
How do we carry this? Oh, it's a big ass crate on the ground. <laughs> I'm I'm taking that with me. Let's go. I need to figure out how to look for these things. This is a loot crate. I literally couldn't see it. Just happened to look at the inventory menu. Did I pass up any other crates on this ship? Now I feel like I need to take one more little look around. This crate takes up so much space, but I feel like it has no room inside of it. Oh wait, did this auto close? Okay. Free storage crate. Always pick up the floor chicken. The tedium is fun. I found a small cargo ship and brought it back, limping to the station for repairs. Then I hired my mom and have been slowly patching the ship up with scavenge part. <laughs> this game lets you hire your mom. Oh, truly we live in the future. Fragrant rice wine. Nepotism. Hired his mom to clean his room. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Okay, crate, you just go wherever, okay? Let's uh, hop back on that. Let's take the helmet off so we don't suffocate ourselves. Okay. Then uh, we're gonna go get arrested by the police. Who I think have stopped looking for us. I know I have to disengage. I'm trying to use map controls. All right, map controls. Here is a uh, K-Lake port. We're gonna set that as our destination, but first we need to get uh, undocked from this derelict. All right, next song, please. So, docking target. We need to request clearance for pushback taxi. Um and accept the docking message. Okay, we should be cleared to disengage. Um, ch -ch -ch. There we go. Now we're gonna back up. Reverse thrusters. Switch to RCS maneuver controls. Uh, we're gonna focus on the ship here. Okay, let's actually look at the very center between us and our target, which is right here. It's going to be bearing zero, zero. Just one zero is fine. Okay, so we're at bearing two, two, one right now. So we need to be at, uh, we're just going to hold Q to rotate the ship until the bearing gets to 360, which is also zero because it's a circle. There we go. Lined it up basically at 300. The Dead Avenger is what that ship is called. We can actually label our ship. I'm the sponge bath. <laughs> Call signs, turn that off or use the alternate name. We're kind of losing our bearing a little bit. So where is the target? Ah, it's not the red line. Okay, what? Tracking mode is off. There's the target. So why does my bearing read? What the hell? What did I do wrong? Hold on. We need to slow down. Because I think I'm going the wrong way. This is my target, silly. It reset. The bearing seemed like it was off. I had to, like, reset it. Ship is currently spinning. There we go. What, chat? How is this the berry center between both of us right now? What What is a berry center? Because I thought that it was like 
the point between two... wonder what the red line is. I actually don't know what the red line is. But it's going, dude. I'm zooming, like, all the way out to try to find out what the red line is. The very center is right in the middle. That's what I thought. Chad, am I gonna... Is this a planet? I think I'm gonna crash into a planet. Olg. No moon. <laughs> Alright, we got this. We might run out of fuel in the I only have 4.4 .4 kilometers of delta V, kilometers per second of delta V. So we're gonna need to refuel here. I don't know what this red line is. Current POR is Sol. Like, the sun? Is that pointing me toward the center of the solar system? Here's what we need to do. We need to flip. Too, too fast. Slow down. Uh, relative velocity needs to be... Very, very, very small number. Okay, we're gonna switch to docking. Clear the proximity warning. Target is going to be docking target... Which one of these? OKLG mess. Like mess hall? What is that? Okay. Um, reason? No docking facilities. Okay, so they don't have docking facilities. Then why is that a target? OKLG. Request clearance. Accept. And... We're gonna face forward. Line it up. Stop strafing, because we've been kind of strafing a little bit. We're accelerating at about 50 meters per second uh, towards our docking target. So I'm going to speed up slightly and then slow down as we get really close. We're moving in. Okay. Turn on some reverse thrusters. We're at like 20 meters per second or so. That should be definitely a safe number. Make sure we're nice and lined up here. Okay, when it's green, can I just engage the clamps? Yeah. Okay, and we are docked. This ship is a train wreck, dude. And we should be on board a station at this point, I think. Oh dear god. The doors to K-Leg slide open and you're greeted by the familiar aroma of station vendor fare. Spot prawn stir-fry in suya curry, kebab of chicken in a yaji spice rub, Szechuan beef with pink peppercorn. Your head knows that the meat is aquaponic or lab-grown or worse, but your heart tells you that anything prepared by human hands is better than trencher chow. Tired-looking spacers circulate between the refuel kiosk and the breaker yard, moving in and out of the gossamer haze of cigarette smoke that's a permanent fixture on the station. The smokes are Sungara Viceroy's, the breaker brand of choice. Folk here will chain smoke them unfiltered no matter how many times. Ayo Timiwa execs find them for overworking the CO2 scrubber. Station centers are connected by rail, a single car shuttle system constantly in a state of disrepair. The scrap shop in port will buy junk back from almost anybody, but industrious scavengers know that if you want a premium price for a working piece, you're going to have to find a reliable fence.
Okay, let's make sure this light is off. And there are some people here. There's also a TV, I think. This is a very comfy hell future. <laughs> Hell future is very cozy. All right, we're going to explore the station as soon as I come back from a quick BRB and take a bathroom break. And also, let you listen to this. And by bathroom break, I mean take the dog outside so he can go to the bathroom and have some snacks. Uh, thank you, Joe Caleb, for the 16 months of sub. Appreciate you sharing your prime for one more. What up, Joe Caleb? Meat Snacks says, yo, sorry I'm late. Apology accepted. And Winbird Emu also for the 26 months. Hey, thanks for supporting the stream, everybody. And also for hanging out tonight. Is this a more involved ship salvager game than Shipbreakers? They're very different games. Very different games. That's that Shipbreakers has a campaign. This is more of a sandbox. I'll be back. Thanks for waiting.
hello chat. to vent this entire station. I'm gonna find the air control and modify it when no one's looking. Okay, actually I have no idea what I'm doing in here. Oh, I'm auto saving. Hello, everyone. So, <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, someone just accosted me. Why is one of their traits blacking out right now? Are they like in the process of blacking out? Are they, are they losing consciousness as we look at them? Uh, they just said hi. I don't, this is, there's a lot going on here. They're old, and they're skilled in persuasion. What What do you want? Not much. What? Wait, wait, wait. Not much what? Oh, there is a scroll wheel here. Did somebody say something? Mention the headline. Scan the room. So, dot, dot, dot. Okay, yeah, that one. So... Privacy up. What's going on? Chat, what did they just do? Madeline Wright opens their... Oh, they asked me what's up, and I said, so. Madeline Wright opens their arms and says, meh. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Yep, I nod. I don't know what these mean. Family up, meaning up, security up. They get achievement, altruism, and respect. Keeps control. This is a very complicated dialogue system. Oh, someone else said? Oh, Sebastian says meh. Talk about the weather. Perfectly awkward. Makes a comment about the recent humidity and temperature on board. Madeline Wright nods and listens intently and offers Zuni a smoke. <laughs> do we... Do we smoke? Not interested. Contact getting by. Will that make my contact go up? I'm 33 and they're 44. Is Madeline Wright hitting on me right now? What's going on? Us, contact, up, up, privacy, down. They get contact, up, up, and privacy, down. Okay, we accept. Accept a cigarette and Madeline Wright's offered light. Zuni has a social life! <laughs> Madeline Wright now considers Zuni an acquaintance. Zuni gains Viceroy cigarette lit. Madeline Wright and Zuni enjoy their smoking session in comfortable silence. Zuni now considers Madeline an acquaintance. Madeline asks Zuni how they're doing. I mean, we're a comedian, right? We're a comedian. Look busy. Mildly funny comment. Metaphysical quandary. I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a comedian. Let's use one of our original dark jokes. Our altruism goes up, our meaning goes up. And then intimacy goes down.
Okay, Zuni tells Madeline Wright an original dark joke. Zuni is searching for intimacy. <clears throat> Yearning. <laughs> I'm keeping everyone at arm's reach. Madeline Wright asks Zuni a metaphysics question nobody here was qualified to answer. Shoot the breeze, burst out laughing, back away slowly, back off, chuckle politely. What is repeat sexually? Did I, like, they just asked a metaphysics question and I repeat it, but sexually? Like, if they were like, what is our place in the universe? And I go, uh, what is our place in the universe? parentheses sexually no not like that okay what about um is there such a thing as absolute truth and i go i'll show you absolute truth what about that <laughs> um or like does reality really exist and I'll go I'll show you something that exists He's learning quickly. Yeah, it just took some practice. Okay. Repeat sexually comedian. This raises autonomy, contact, and intimacy. They get intimacy and self-worth. Uh, Zuni repeats what Madeline Wright just said, but sexually. Zuni is experiencing a nicotine buzz. Zuni has a handle on her fears and has no intimate needs right now. Immediately starts searching for intimacy again. Madeline isn't interested. Madeline tells a dark joke, and Zuni feels like the world makes sense suddenly. Okay. I have two orange options. Tell a riveting tale. Chat, what does orange option mean? We need, um, a reveting tale. Yeah, a reveting tale. That's plus three to contact. I'm already noticed. Plus one to family, plus one to meeting. Orange ones are one-off resources, like per conversation. You know a tale and you can share it. Like, I can only tell this tale one time in my entire life. Look at us. What do you mean, look at us? Dialogue tree more complicated than most combat systems, yes. All right, I'll just tell, uh, consumes one, share another story. Let's tell a riveting tale and max our contact. Zuni is reminded of a strange, compelling story and they tell it at length. Zuni feels like the center of attention. Madeline awkwardly says to Zuni, So, <laughs> you didn't like my story? Oh, repeat sexually. So, Madeline 
Madeline Wright gently places their hand on Zuni Tazbolt's arm. Chat, where is this going right now? <laughs> Ask what's up, parentheses comedian. Are we flirting with the first person that appears on this ship? Hey, back off. Playful threat comedian. Did you just lightly touch me? I will... Playfully threaten you in a comedic way. Correction, you've, you've already flirted with the first person on this ship. I'm, I'm only picking the comedian ones. Their privacy and security goes down. Zuni is cool and distant, has no intimate needs right now. Madeline curses and makes a gesture to avert bad luck. Zuni makes allowances for certain superstitions and is feeling anxious. Madeline complains about overzealous local authorities. Okay, let's, um... Callous laughter. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Uh, let's scan the room to build our own security. Zuni scans the room nervously after she talks about overzealous authorities. Okay. Uh, what is going on? Madeline reassures Zuni with logic. Let's nod. Takes a deep breath and nod. Nods. Zuni is feeling nostalgic for family. I think we're actually, like, much higher than we were before. Should we go now? Let's ask how they are. Madeline asks a metaphysics question nobody is qualified to answer. <sighs> Burst out laughing. Madeline awkwardly says to Zuni, so. All right, I'm leaving if you don't have anything else to say. Madeline, you got boring. What is this? Transit kiosk. Out of order? Your mom is out of order. Got him. Door closed and locked. You actually can, um, like, go places where you're not supposed to be on stations and whatnot. Is this a toilet? What is this? These are chairs? Air pumps? Hello? We s This is my biological mother? Wait, they see us as biological mother. Wait, this is Brooke Tosbolt. Are we each other's mom? Are we clones? <laughs> One of them is an imposter. You're five years older. Oh, I can't, we can't listen to this chat. We're not allowed to listen to this song. That song is banned. Like, hang on. This is some time travel. Because they have cybernetic um, surgery scars. Gotta be a bug. The criminal lady was listed as your mother in your bio.
Well, somebody's... We're de they're definitely related to us. All right, let's uh, <clears throat> ask how mom is. Like, they have my last name. Zuni asks Brooke how they're doing. Brooke changes the subject and tells Zuni an original dark joke. <sighs> Let's reassure mom. Listen, mom. Are you my mom? She's my mom now. Wasn't your criminal mother at Character Gen also? Yeah, this looks exactly like the person that's supposed to be my mom. I'm just older than her. <laughs> Zuni assures Brooke they're gonna be okay. And that ended the conversation. Brooke says later? Mom just bailed on this conversation and left what? Screw you too, Mom. What? Where is this? That is an airlock, I think. Ooh, docking and refuel services. Okay, chap. Walk me through this. I have no money. So, let's start with that. Let's start with getting money. Gig Nexus. <sighs> okay. Gig Nexus. Zuni Tosbolt is seeking information on the whereabouts of David Rowland, who recently started a riot in the Mescaform Bar. Locate David Rowland. Wait, that's me. I'm Zuni Tosbolt. You can't even afford the connection fee. Wait, I have to pay them money for the gig and then they pay me for completing it? This one's 15 bucks. I can't even afford that one. David Rowland is seeking secure and prompt delivery of a prototype formula hold-in patch to Jason Liam Dela Cruz, who needs the item in question to sell to a buyer in the area. I definitely don't remember these quests being here before. Dude, 44 grand? Sensitive item delivery? Isn't David the guy you're supposed to find? Yes, we're looking for whereabouts of David Rowland, and then David Rowland is seeking a prompt delivery. Remotely. Apparently. Coffee machine. Is coffee free on the station? A drink pouch for rehydrating thirsty spacers. Chat, wouldn't drinking coffee not be a good idea since it's a diuretic is that just gonna make me thirstier okay uh oklg license supply kiosks ask zuni for a valid salvage license access denied a salvage license is required to access this service. Please purchase one first. I bet they're incredibly expensive. You cannot afford them. Yeah, I know, but how much are they? Why do the floors look so dirty? That's because they are? Oh, this is the toilet. Can everybody, like, s dude, the whole station's going to the toilet at the same time. Go shut the door behind you. What are you guys all doing in here? You can defecate on the toilet. Uh, my bowels are currently normal. All right, I'm, I'm waiting for my turn. I'm gonna chat, close your eyes. Don't look. Zuni is looking for a place to defecate. They can't defecate while wearing a spacesuit. 
All right, chat, don't look. Okay, I have to get completely naked. There we go, now we can... <laughs> uh, they feel they are unsuccessful. Where are you going? Why am I just marching? Where, I did not command you to go there. I'm just walking around with no pants on the space station right now. Looking for a place to defecate. Zuni can't defecate right now. Oh, you just don't need to go. You just don't need to go. I still have a lit cigarette in my mouth, I think. Yes, I'm, I've, I'm walking around with no pants and a lit cigarette. Okay. Well, the pants are back on. So, <clears throat> chat, can I sell anything on... We buy scrap. Okay, what about this? Ah, here we go. Here we go. I probably need to go get a bunch of stuff to see what we have to sell, because I didn't bring anything with me. Other wanted items. Oh, these are things that they desire. Yeah, mechanical parts are like basically worthless. Not worthless, but basically worthless. All right, next song. Let's uh, head back on our ship. This should, this airlock should be sealed, right? Yeah, we got oxygen in the airlock. Now we're just gonna pick up random things. They don't want to buy any of this stuff, I think. If they did, they would have offered. <laughs> Our ship has seen better days, <clears throat> okay? I'm not sure if they'll buy any of these. <laughs> we did get some batteries and a battery charging station, but um... Did I just open that? There's... Am I just gonna resell the O2 bottle until we get a better suit? Let's go see if we can sell any of these things. What is this? Mechanical parts? Ah. Uh. I don't think they buy motors or mechanical parts, do they? Excuse me, collision imminent? Get me off of this thing. If you collide with my docked ship, we're gonna have a problem. You understand? <laughs> oh, you can open the backpack. Oh, I didn't look at that. Okay, we can open the backpack. Hell yeah. I can sell wine like new for only 31 cents? It's a bit of an in-joke with early shipbreakers. Is this a, is this garbage wine? Okay, electronic parts, the O2 bottle. Like new wine. Yeah, it's like new. All right, get rid of it. You can sell their own drink pouches back to them, which is great. Mm -hmm. 
So they don't want to buy motherboards. Unless I'm missing something. Because the motherboards are in my backpack. Okay, so I'm just going to leave... Chat, I'm just going to... Is there a trash can in the station? To just, like, throw stuff away? I wish you could stack them. Can you guys relax? I'm trying to get at least like slightly organized here. So we know for a fact that they don't want motors. They will buy mechanical parts. I don't know if we can sell these big canisters because we can't fit them in any inventory. I'm trying to clean up my damn floor here. This is not as small as it looks. Okay, um, let's pick up the crate real quick. Actually, drop the crate. Can we just move the crate? Okay, crate in the corner. That's sort of clean. <laughs> Depending on who you're asking. There we go. See, there's a clear path to the nav station pilot chair. by the people that made Neo Scavenger. Yes. 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 Yes, it is. It's by the people that made Neo Scavenger. What if I said no? What would you say then? What if I said no? Okay. I have $84 now. What can I do with $84 as far as refuel goes? Okay, as far as these sliders... Grand total of $939. Does it look like... Payment device found. Chat. What the hell is on this screen? I have to pay... There's a $475 fine and other fees. What is this, Uber Eats? Like, I don't, what is this even for? Did it cost me... $294 to dock? Find for running around in your underwear. I guess it makes sense that it's not free to dock at the station, but... Um... I can't... I can't afford this. 
I think it may be for the ship. It was on mortgage. Okay. So is this a loan? What happens if I get back on the ship? Do I need to actually manually refuel? Uh, we have, oh, we have 423 meters per second delta V. I think we automatically refueled. Maybe we just owe money? Let's see what happens if I request permission to undock. Uh, declined because of unpaid fees. <laughs> oh. Um, did I soft lock myself by going to the stinky station? What is going on back here? This person is dragging a battery charger around. Bathroom is a cool place to hang out. According to these guys, I mean, they're just having a chat in there. Okay, next question. How do you uh, leave? You don't. The longer you can't pay, the longer you're in debt. Let's see if the number goes up. I'm at 939. It's a... It says... Dockage length over all per hour. All right, 939.91. Does this number go up? You can beg to the officer at the port authority. Who the hell is the officer? What is... Is... Where... Which one of you could possibly... This person just went through the wall. How do you tell who the hell the officer is? What are you guys doing on the other side of this door? Is this a is this a ship? Oh, there's a transport. Oh yeah, there's a trans a transit kiosk. Let's try that. I'm here. Let's go to the tram to the old emporium. The red neons cast heavy shadows in the old emporium, Kaleg's only leisure district. The OE is a relic of a former world, a portal to the Halcyon days, the wildcat Nigerian colony before Earth's ablation cascade gutted the economy. Spacers come here to escape the bureaucratic grind, to imagine a world without bosses, to split a chilled bottle of Bismertnaya. Bismertnaya. E I don't know what that is. Even when they can't afford to. A dozen meters away from the shuttle stop, you see a knot of revelers gathered in the warm light of the Mezcaform bar. Laughter and conversation float through in a melange of English, Mandarin, and even Yoruba. That last one might be a sign IO managers are mixing it up with the common folk. 
Whatever the language, the warm organics of human voices in close proximity is a welcome departure from the hollow echo of comms chatter. Okay. One of the faces in the crowd is the Fixer. They're a known quantity in the station community. K-Leg's portal to a system-wide, ever-shifting black market whose appetite for used ship parts and other rare salvage can never be sated. Shouldn't be too hard to get them talking. Just mention you have something to trade and they're likely to be interested. Too late. I already gave all my stuff to the scrap buyers. <laughs> lives here. There's a lot of loading signs. I'm assuming like docks. for whoever is in charge here, I think. What are you guys doing over here? There's a coffee machine, some sinks. The red light district, apparently. One of these people is supposed to be a fixer of some kind. Uh, God knows who that is. I don't think I want to talk to everyone that's here. Where's the other place we can go? The commercial district? What? Stepping off the tram at Calix Commercial District, the difference is immediately apparent. It's not nicer, but maybe less worn out, like less people come here, or at least less rough and tumble types. The main point of interest here is the Port Authority office. Ah, here we are. A place every captain inevitably becomes familiar with as they navigate the web of red tape surrounding spaceport ops. Usually you'll find at least a few pilots and ship owners slouched in line here, down on their luck and hoping for a break. The longer the line, the more likely that the nice clerk is on duty today. Okay, we found what we're looking for at least. The port authority goes here. This might be a back room? Yeah, I don't I think the store's Why hello there. I'm not supposed to be in here, chat. Lily Isabella. Career bartender. All for to trade. Oh, they have food. And drink pouches, which of course I can't afford. Oh, never mind. I, I am supposed to be in here. <laughs> How do you have a commercial district when nobody can afford anything? This is like a meeting room? Where the hell is anybody of importance around here, dude? Who built this space station? All right, it's gotta be this. This is, this is for sure it. Let me cut in line here, okay, Sebastian? Um, are you okay, Livia? You seem surprised to see me. <laughs> to put it lightly. Okay, okay, don't make fun of them. They're the, um, I, I believe they are the Port Authority Clerk. Hello? 
<laughs> Zuni gets their attention uh, and says hello. Livia stares daggers into Zuni and says nothing. Okay. Uh, try to make them laugh. Fabricate an urgent mission. Pretend you are important. Ask for a break. Promise to pay later. Threaten to call the manager. Ask what's up. Insult them or give them a dark joke. <laughs> oh my god, a line cutter. <laughs> Let's, um... Pretend we're important first. Let's try... No, we're a comedian. We're a comedian. Try to make him laugh. Zuni makes an amusing observation about the surroundings. Livia takes a deep breath and nods. Livia says that docking fees are rendered according to their own discretion, and that, in your case, the decision is final. Oh my god! I didn't even... I, I just said, like, hey, uh... Uh, so, those uh, black and white, no, those are yellow and black cables behind you. <laughs> Crash test dummies? <laughs> Am I right? And she's like, get out! Fees are final! Jesus, Livia, lighten up a little bit. Z Livia sighs and tells Zuni they have seen one too many patrons lately and you'll have to come back later. What the hell? <laughs> Chat! Do I just live here now? I think I softlocked myself because of that. No one... You work here! What do you mean you've seen too many people lately? Let's try and calm them down. Tells Livia to calm down and take a breath. Livia changes the subject and says, later. Listen, Livia, I've had enough of your bullshit right now, all right? I have saved this dark joke. It's only available once for you. Livia, Mackenzie, asks Zuni, a metaphysics question nobody's qualified to answer. Ooh, we're acquaintances now, chat. We're acquaintances. Okay. Um, they didn't like the joke before. They liked the dark joke. People love being told to calm down. Hell yeah. Let's just treat them like a normal human. Shoot the breeze. Livia mentions a headline that they recently read. Um, repeat that, but sexually. Repeat the headline, but sexually. Lizzie, Livia isn't interested and scans the room nervously. Okay, that, w that didn't work. That didn't work. We're, we're getting desperate over here. Uh... They gave us a metaphysical quandary before. Let's let, let, let's toss one back. Livia backs away slowly. All right, all right. Let's reiterate the urgency of the fact that we're stuck here. All right. Livia gets out of Zuni's way. Livia, Livia, listen, no one else is here. You're on the clock. You consider me an acquaintance, right? Livia stares daggers and says nothing. I have another chance. Convince the clerk to let your docking fee slide without making them too oppressed or pestered. Gambit, ask for a break. Promise to pay later. Let's just, let's just, let's go for a, uh, ask for a break gambit. Can we have a break just one time? Livia says if they gave every comedian around here a break, they would lose their job. Livia asks Zuni to pay their fee if they want to leave the station. <sighs> All right, listen, Livia, I am going to harass the hell out of you until you let me leave. I'm going to show you this sweet trick I just learned. I just did a flip. Livia just gently placed their hand on my arm. Chat, we're going to have to seduce the clerk in order to get off of this station, all right? Uh, just let's flirt with them. They need some space. Okay, they need some space. They need some space. Uh, that's fine. Let's just uh, give them a... I don't know. 
repeat sexually comedian. Yep, 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 yep. Make him laugh. Livia says, hey, look at us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> what? Yes, sir, I am looking at us. I don't know if they know what to do. Okay, address the uh, Port Authority clerk. They stare daggers and say nothing. All right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna pretend that we're very no 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 we're gonna threaten to call them man no um <sighs> promise to pay later we'll pay the fee the next time we dock if they broke the rules every time someone was in crisis nobody would ever pay the docking fee Liv Livia 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 are we not good friends here I'm gonna give you another original dark joke. You liked it last time. She takes a deep breath and nods, and then asks a metaphysics question that nobody can answer. Let's, um, ask how they are. No one ever asked the clerk how they are. I mean, look at her. We know... She's, um, she's got a very sort of... Def like, unique face. Very unique face. She mentions a headline. And changes the subject. Let's complain about the authorities to the authorities. That'll make us much more personable. Olivia asks Suni how we're doing. Um, make a mildly funny comment. She scans the room nervously. Let's ask her uh, about her skills. She makes a funny comment. Are we making any progress on this? Look at look at the two of us. Look at the two of us. She says so awkwardly. <sighs> Ask what's up, but in a funny way. She talks about the humidity and temperature on board. I am going to <sighs> also talk about the weather. She says later and changes the subject. All right, Chad, it's time to get arrested. Install this door until someone arrests us. Okay, um just gonna help myself to whatever the hell is back here which is apparently a whole bunch of nothing maybe that's why they let me come back here Maybe if I destroy the terminals. What the, what are we doing? Smash all the computers, yeah. <laughs> Space station. 13 gameplay. 
Now everyone's stuck here! Maniac goes unhinged, uninstalls doors, and destroys terminals over exit fee of $15. Look where I am, Livia. Look where I am, Livia. I'm gonna pretend that I'm important now. Do you know who you're talking to? I am going to show you a sweet trick. Look at that trick. I did a push-up. They placed their hand on my arm. Okay, we're gonna return the... We're gonna return the favor. They're not interested. Why did you touch me first then? Zudi feels like an outcast. Ask your friend for a favor. She... Okay, all right, all right, chat, we're friends. We're fr Oh my god, what have I done to you? Uh, Livia smiles and says they're happy to let a friend undock without paying the fee. Just don't go yapping to management about it. I don't know what I did other than destroy the terminals. <sighs> but I'm, I'm leaving now. I had to uninstall the door to go talk to her face to face. That was one way to do it. Yeah, that was one way to do it. I need to figure out how to get refuel stuff from other ships without having to go back to this dumb station. We're gonna set a new target for a new derelict. Uh, we're gonna select this target and request pushback, which we now have clearance for. Disengage the clamps. Pull back. Low pressure alert. Chat, why is pressure 35, 34? <sighs> Did I just destroy my entire airlock? And now we'll never be able to dock with anything ever again. There's a little too much fresh air. Oxygen is somehow still 22 kPa. Uh, what's the temperature? 296 Kelvin? How is there? How have we not vented the entire interior into space? Chat, am I smoking a cigarette inside my pressure suit helmet? Okay, it was a cigarette stub that was still in. Like, is this actually closed? God, she's so cool. <laughs> uh. There is an air pump and an O2 canister in there. How did we not vent from space? I have no idea. I think we're okay now, though, right? Wouldn't the station be compromised, too? I'm... That's what I'm confused by. I don't know. 
It doesn't matter. Who hasn't left their airlock open while illegally evading docking fees from time to time? That's a great point. That's a great point, yeah. Okay, so this is a target. So what we need to do is get, bring our bearing around to as close to zero as possible by rotating the nose of the ship towards the target. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. Okay, and we're going to accelerate towards the target to about four or five hundred meters per second. Chat, we did not actually refuel. We only have three kilometers per second of Delta V, which isn't much. So, I have no idea how to refuel with no money. We're probably just going to soft lock ourselves, and this is the part of the game where you would probably Google what you're supposed to do. Did I just... What the... What?! What? I, uh, there was some... <laughs> huh? Uh, there was a, there's, now, we've lost pressure. Space debris. There's nothing on the scopes. Did, did something on my ship just break down? Well, chat, hit diagnostics. Uh, where do you hit diagnostics? Sorry, hold on. Door closed. Pin set to 0179. Crate pin set to 7325. Print status. Reactor not found. Yep, that's that's normal. Life support. Heat offline. You had a malfunction most likely? So, uh, what's the hotkey to look? Oh, we don't have any power over here. <laughs> so we just, something, something failed? I'm gonna turn off the O2 pressure alarm. Wait, it's O2. Uh, where is the low pressure? Yeah, the pressure. O2 pressure alarm. I think, is there just a straight up hole in the wall? Uh oh, don't go out there. Chad, I am dying of hypoxia, and I think that's just a GG, because I'm not really sure. I'd like to just freeze and someone tell me what's going on. Mouse over the tire where the power line was cut. I don't know where the power line was cut. There's wall, wall, wall. Wall, wall, wall. Wall damaged. Floor damaged. Right here. But I don't know if it was something I did or natural degradation of the ship is what I'm trying to figure out. Hello, Metallus. Thank you for the 13 months of sub. I appreciate the Prime. And Raged Arctic Knight for 50 months as well. Welcome back for one more. Aranor, howdy. Thanks for the 9 months sub. 
Appreciate you, Sharon. Sometimes you get hit by meteorites. What? That sounds made up. Meteor... Hold on. Stray meteors will damage your outer hull from time to time. Hit H to see which conduit wall is damaged. Well, I don't think H does anything now. What was what was the H hotkey? Micrometeorites are real and they are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that tells me the what, but that doesn't tell me the how to deal with it. <sighs> Alright, Mass Effect music, chill for a second, Jesus. So, games like this are really cool. The problem with them is that chat doesn't know how to play, and the, like, three people that know how to play are really bad at giving instructions. Uh, so the best way to probably figure out how to play is to watch someone who already knows what's happening and learn from that. Which is sort of what I was afraid of. I feel like I need more information before I can actually play. Don't dot 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 me, Heroic Herald. Which one are you? The one who doesn't know anything? Yeah. Save him, chat. They can't. Do you have some patch kits? I do have patch kits, but it's a bit late since I'm dying of hypoxia and numbness. So I'm assuming that there's not time, and I also don't know where the patch would even, how to be applied. So I'm probably just dead dead. But um, the patch, whole patch kits are here. Do we have time to read about the Holden patch? Chad, is this an Expanse reference? Not now. Uh, what if I right click? I need to find the wall that's damaged. I'm sure we're dead before that. Okay, the floor is patched, I think. Is the wall not also patched? Or are there multiple walls? Wall damage, Ryoka. Patch. I see the red. Hold on. The O2 is at zero in here, but there... Okay, I have a question. Is there an overview of all damaged parts? Like there's a power thing here? What, like I don't know how to restore power in this. Okay, this conduit is the damaged one, right? And it's just like, this conduit is not damaged, but it's it's not connected because this one is damaged. I don't know how to, how to repair this. I can't read. Oh, we need to have, 
Uh, how do we turn off the... How do we turn off the damage overlay? What was that hotkey again? L and Alpha 9? Hi chat, what the hell is Alpha 9? Okay, it's X and L. Alright, this is repair conduit damaged, last attempt, unable to comply, missing item is scrap and aluminum. Missing item is parts and electronics. You have to have aluminum scrap and electronic parts to repair the conduit. Nine above the IO as opposed to the numpad nine. Ah. This just highlights stuff that you can interact with. So I would have to like physically probably uninstall the damaged conduit if possible and reinstall instead of repairing. I know it's too late, like I'm dying of hypoxia, so I'm probably just dead dead. That's gonna take a while. We probably would have had to start this immediately. <laughs> we feel vaguely unwell and flushed. Where would I grab another piece of conduit from? And would I even have the skills to install it? It's quiet. Too quiet. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. Power switch is already on. You should probably toggle the power since we're... Oh. <laughs> I don't know. In real life, you turn the lights off before you screw in a new light bulb, right? Um, Chad, if you were a non-emergency power conduit... Where would you be? Power is not why you're dying right now. Is it not? Chai, you guys need to get your story straight. Because some of you are really bad at backseating. And some of you I have to ignore. Chat, save this guy. Chat's only capable of writing three to six words at a time. Unfortunately, they have lost the ability to communicate in complete sentences. <sighs> He's not wrong. He, Yep, see? That's three words. Is there a, what this game really needs because it's all in 2D is a overlay for damage. Like you can mouse over stuff for damage, but like it has a power overlay. Because, yeah, I know that I need oxygen, but I need more than just... There's uh, there's nothing in here, and we had random damage. They've added some indicators, but it's still rough. 
I understand where the air pump is. Like, I've, I've been looking at this. But I have no idea where the hell the tanks are for any of the... Like, this is a tank that I harvested from another ship, chat. I don't... I know where this is. This isn't... This is not something that is currently installed. I'm looking for the existing ship containers. And I can't tell what the hell anything is here. It's in the airlock. Okay, that's why I can't find anything. Also, this O2 canister chat has 37 kPa, 37,000 kPa of oxygen inside of it. So, it's not I don't need to change the canisters. So I think chat has been making, uh, once again, some false assumptions here. The exterior airlock is closed. I'm looking to see if there's any more damaged wall that's like leaking it out. The air pump is on. O2 canister on the right says that it's pressurized it's at 50 percent condition and filled with oxygen in fact it has more oxygen than this has okay let's <clears throat> Continue to look. Could be a floor tile. There could be a floor tile. I mean, we clearly, like, had damaged pieces of wall that needed to be patched up. The air pump is connected to the O2 alarm. You turn the alarm off so it's not going to trigger the pump. What does that mean? Why would the alarm turn off the airflow? Set the pump to on instead of automatic. I also cannot turn this back on. Oop. Oh, you have to drag it. Chat, oxygen is coming in. You silly gooses. It's just taking a very long time. It was just the wall. <laughs> it's just, it's to 20 kPa right now. Nothing. That was before I switched the O2 pressure. Am I alive? Okay. Yeah, I'm alive. Whew, yeah, it was just the, the wall was open. All we had to do was patch it up and wait, but it just didn't seem like anything was changing. But we're actually alive now. Okay, we have a lot of messed up conduit. And also, I'm not entirely sure if we can steer the ship. Let's go to the nav station and find out. You still need to power the heater. That's fair. That is totally fair, but... We, we, we have no RCS thrusters. So I think we've just artificially extended our life. I would have to figure out how to deconstruct something to get the necessary pieces to... Because we need power. This is a RCS intake regulator. I think this is one of the thrusters. And there's another thruster back there. So we need to figure out how to get power to the right side of the ship. This is very stressful. <laughs> this is the game NASA astronauts train on. I think so. Uh, I would need to deconstruct something to try to get the necessary bits. We need, we need power on the right. Is temperature going down right now? Let's see. 292.5 is the current temperature. All right. Next on the to-do list is find out what the hell's going on back here. 
Chat is on about this nitrogen can, but where is nitrogen... Where's the default nitrogen can on the ship? Okay, N2 canister. Chad, there's 18,000 N2 in here, and there's an N2 canister here. So the, the N2 canister... This one has zero pressure, and this one has 18,000 kPa. So the one that, this, since this one is no longer powered, if I switch these two, or at least uninstall this. Oof. Because this is the side that has nitrogen is no longer receiving any power. So we have to swap these over. Okay, loose canister. We actually don't need to pick it up. I can simply just pick it up and move it to somewhere else on the ground. Now we can uninstall this one. This one seems like it's taking a bit longer, doesn't it? Okay, and then one more. And then we're gonna pick up... Wait, what? Did I just uninstall the intake regulator instead of the canister? <laughs> I did, yes, actually. That's why it was taking longer. It was a much larger system. Okay, that, that you know what? That makes sense. Okay, then the loose canister, we're going to pick up. And install right there. You can't reach. Yes, you can. You can reach that location 100%. There you go. Good job. Good job. You're doing great. Don't listen to Curious. Already one step ahead of you. Okay, we now have nitrogen filtering into the air because um, we don't have power on the right. So there's two separate um, nitrogen regulators. So just in the interim period, until we get this side uh, situated, we just want to make sure that there's oxygen. Uh, heat is still 292.5. We're adrift in space right now. So the next thing is to get uh, control back to the RCS clusters via repairing the power conduit. I am afraid that we're going to need multiple bits of conduit in order to get a connection. There appears to have been some damage to this right-hand side. Now stop the ship. Can I stop the ship right now without uh, the RCS clusters on the other side? Oh, okay. So it's just getting the nitrogen. How do you, quote-unquote, stop the ship? <laughs> I don't think you can. We can bring it to, like, 25 meters per second, which is very slow, at least, relative to everything else in space. We're losing a lot of delta V, though. <sighs> I would need to go to the probably the closest derelict and then dock there. With what we've got left. So let's not use any more delta V. Let's just go like 200 meters per second-ish and just drift casually. We have about uh, 50 kilometers to travel. <laughs> I 
This has been an adventure. I am both simultaneously stressed out by what's been happening and also um, excited that this is the game. The game is about like, oh shit, there has been an emergency break in the wall. What's happening? How do I fix it? Scrambling with fairly limited amount of time. The oxygen that we had in our suit. Congrats, you can get out of this alive. Yeah. Hell yeah. But that, that, yeah, that, this is pretty, pretty much the game. It's just fix it, flip it, and fix it. That's also very Barotrauma esque. Yeah, I guess there are some similarities. I just haven't played Barotrauma. Modify, thank you for the squish emote for 49 months. Much appreciated. You also can accelerate the speed that the map is showing. What? Okay, are we okay? Where was the map go? Where? When I fast forward, where does the map go? Chat. Why is my... This is my viewfinder range, not my range to the target. Okay, that makes sense. I love games with a steep learning curve. This is a fairly steep learning curve, yes. There must be a bug with the fast forward on the map because we're at 24 kilometers out. When I speed up, the number actually grows and our location moves, but then when I set it back to no fast forward, we're actually closer. I think it's a bug. But yeah, if we can just make it to this with Delta V, and oxygen intact and, and um, get on the next ship, we should be able to salvage enough parts to hopefully get our electric grid back online. So that would be excellent. We are about 17 kilometers out. Fast forward a little bit more. Okay, once we're seven kilometers out we want to start slowing down maybe five kilometers out give or take i don't want this to sneak up on us either <laughs> this isn't steep this is loop-de-loops <sighs> what in difficulty i think it's one of those games that Everything is initially difficult in that you don't know exactly what you're looking for, and then once you figure out how to discern uh, things visually on the screen, then it gets significantly easier. I guess we don't actually need to turn and burn. We have reverse RCS thrusters, so there's no need to flip the ship around. Uh, I'm just used to... We don't, we don't actually have a reactor that's going off. Okay, we're about five kilometers. Proximity alarm is going off. We're gonna go ahead and clear that. And start slowing down to a little under 100 kilometers per second. Let's switch to docking view, select the target, the derelict, request clearance, accept. And then we want to... Chat, I actually can't turn. What's going on? We do not have control. I do not have control, I repeat. Oh shit. I do not have control on that screen for some reason. I do on this screen, but not on this screen. I can't turn. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy does it. Oh, because we only have some RCS thrusters, so I can turn left really fast, but I can't turn right fast at all. That's why. Okay, we're coming in at, at a cool 19 meters per second. And clamp. Engage. Lock it in. I don't know if the clamps work still. Uh, the game is thinking really hard. Okay, there we go. 
We have now come to a complete stop for what that's worth. Shots for everyone. Shots for everyone, yes. I don't think I need these motor components. I just picked them up. There's a cigarette stub. Throw that on the ground. We only have one hole patch left. Uh, I don't know why we had to use two up. All right, let's head on board the ship, shall we? What do we got? Turbo air pumps. There is a closed door. I'm not sure if uninstalling is the fastest way to deal with this, but it's been working for us up till now. Does bashing, is bashing better, chat? I guess if you're strong, maybe? Bashing is a bad solution. Bang, 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 bang. It feels like they built a space game on top of Neo Scavenger. I think that they're supposed to be sort of in the same universe. Is my understanding. Okay, and I think we're in. There's electronic parts. Okay, we need to check the floor. We definitely want to grab all the parts this time. There's a battery charging station, a bunch of crates. Okay, I'm very excited about this. Some bulkhead bins. We got a lot of loot to scope out. But what I need from you, chat, is just uh, one quick... BRB. Hold tight for a second, okay? Give me one minute.
Okay. Sorry about that. That was bad allergies. Track down. Something to deal with it. Now we can open our loot boxes. In space. Quite excited, actually. Let's see what we got. Step one. Let's check the battery station. Zuni Tosbolt. That's me. I bet you're wondering how I'm auto saving here. Uh, another battery for an EVA suit. I don't know. I'm just gonna take the batteries. We already took an entire battery charging station. So a locked crate, right? A locked crate. Ah, uh, the odds of us finding the codes to these, probably slim. That crate is totally empty. Okay, so if it has a red light, it's locked. If it has a green light, it's open. There's a dolly equipment truck over here that doesn't have anything on it. Auto saving. Yeah, I guess that's something I do now. So we have a couple of options with these locked crates. We can pry them open, we can bash them open, we can cut them open. And I would think prying would be the best case scenario if possible. Oh, ooh. Spare screens. We got a pressure suit. Well, well, well. It's a Pathfinder. A backup pressure suit can't be a bad thing, because ours presumably has condition associated with it. There's a t-shirt and a sweatshirt that are in decent condition. A dolly lets you carry stuff? I would never have guessed that. O2 bottle, music too intense, please relax. Actually, we're just gonna change soundtracks. So something familiar and lovely. Pill bottle. Oh, we found hydrocodone. <laughs> found some pain meds, chat. I'm not sure how much spare screens they're worth, but it can't be bad. How come mom lets you have two pressure suits? Oh wait, I just put these on the ground. I should be putting them in my backpack. Take some clothes, take the O2, take the hydrocodone, take the backup pressure suit. <sighs> okay, we got another locked crate. Let's pry this one. Come on, give me something good. What? It's empty. Why did you bother locking an empty crate? Work safety papers. There's, <laughs> it's a box of work safety posters. And then this one's empty. They can't put the good stuff at the front, can they? It's okay, we got more loot boxes. Here's another one. Nothing. Heat sink. That is a piece of something. Some more screens and a drink pouch. Water is actually, is it full? This is 98%. I mean, water is a great piece of loot, in my opinion. And then nothing. Is that the whole ship? This door is closed. Chat, do you think this goes... Oh yeah, for sure goes to more ship. Let's try and pry this door open, too. Um, am I heavy? <laughs> am I, am I, uh, why am I suddenly very heavy? When I was walking from here to here, it was fine. Now it's like, uh, I'm in three times Earth's gravity.
What if I just leave my entire backpack on the ground? Okay, that's... Dude. Trying stuff is hard. We're exhausted. Just go back to your... Just dig deep and go back to the ship. How do you rest... Without dying? To running out of oxygen. Classic Kinshi move. What, dropping the backpack? I actually don't know how to rest. Is resting just like the act of standing still? How to rest in astronauts. You can sleep on loose articles of clothing. In fact, you'll do that automatically when sleep is part of your schedule. You may want to hire crew members so you have something to do while your character sleeps. Did you ever play Deus Ex on stream? No, I already played them. But why would I play them again? What is... Oh dear, what have I done? <laughs> this doesn't work the way that I thought it would. Zuni is nearing their physical limits. Um, I'm feeling drained, which is better than exhausted. Okay, I can at least walk. Let's just go chill on the ship for a minute. If I can make it back there. That's an improvement. How come the doors automatically open, but they don't automatically close? Or do they? Oh my god, go in. Take the helmet off. Put it on the ground. Ooh, we have a clip point. You can clip it to the... Um, they're searching for food. Zuni is looking for some food in small pouch and can't find anything to eat. Zuni, I hid the food. They're in slight pain. Zuni is like me opening the pantry just to look at every possible choice of food and choose none of them. Zuni flicks through the local social networks on their PDA, feels like the center of attention, is winded, looks for some food in a small pouch. Are you really that hungry? I can just give you some. I know where it is. It's in, it's in the crate. Do you need it? Here's Kung Pao Chicken. You want this? What do you mean you can't find anything? Do we have to heat this up? It's it's in your it's in your backpack. Alright, I'll put it in the small pouch. Here you go. Kung Pao Chicken, 75% quality. It's 75% chicken. Zuni stares longingly at an old photo. Why is Zuni in slight pain? Just from working too hard? Uh, Zuni's relaxed now. So we might be able to go back to work. Apparently just prying stuff I think was too too much work. Here's what we really need. We need to bring one of those crates and that way we can put stuff in it. That's a great idea. Okay, give me the helmet. Shut the door. Okay, the door is shut. There we go. 
Let's grab the closest crate that is, like, the least damaged. They're all slightly damaged, but this one's this one's pretty good. Crate. Uh, we're going to carry that. And just take it back with us. Okay, now we're gonna drop the crate and then find a spot for it. Middle of the floor is great. Oh my god, I picked the one with the safety posters. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go take those back on the ship and uh, drop them off. Got a heat sink component. Some mechanical and electronic parts. Let's keep the drink pouch. Battery lovingly thrown on the ground with his oxygen bottle. We got a pill bottle. Organization is difficult. Chests are hard. We can take off the helmet in here, right? I need pants. Uh, what if I... Can I wear the sweatshirt? The condition is the shirt that I've got on is better. Well, that'll help me stay warm. I could use some pants, though. You're gonna wish you had 200 poster board an hour from now. It's not poster board, it's just flyers. Okay, um, two pressure suits is better than one. Now let's go back on board. Oh, there's pockets in my hoodie. Oh, that's nice. It's got pockets. Put my helmet back. Okay, I'm just going to pick any old crates. And then dump the flyers in there. And the t-shirt. Alright, we got some inventory space. Let's keep looking. We looked in this one, right? Yeah. So one of the things we're gonna need while we're here, besides, ooh, food. Yo, I found Nacho Fiesta! There is definitely a Nacho Fiesta going on back here. Oh my God, we found Kung Pao chicken chat. We got food and water off of this. Derelict. Their shoes! Oh, sorry. A shoe. A single sneaker. And another drink pouch? We got sustenance. But yeah, while we're here, we need to salvage various conduits. Oh, I found the other sneaker. Two shoes. Now I can wear the pair. Uh, check this battery. Battery is full. This, um, liquid, what, helium canister? Flick the power switch. What if something explodes? Oh, you're not scheduled to work right now. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so... You are now. All day, in fact. Do you not want explosions in this game? 
All right. Um, I mean, it's a little spooky. I'm just... There is some power, though. It do be a little spooky. How fast does the battery go down is the other question. Okay, we're definitely going to need um, some more nitrogen. Door closed, locked. <sighs> we'll come back that way. What we got? Electronic bits, heat sinks, which might be totally worthless. I have no idea. Mechanical parts. A bit of loose floor. We got pressure alarms. Atmosphere scrubber that's damaged. There's a CO2 canister. Um, that is basically empty. Nitrogen canister that is pressurized. It has 14,000 kPa of nitrogen. That's probably worth grabbing to replace our empty one, yeah? This one's got 35,000. That's even better. Pretty high health and integrity. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. I'm sure there's canisters all over the place. Yeah, there are. There's another battery that's quite damaged. Power switch is off. What the hell is this? Is this... RCS clusters, there's racks. Do I have to check each rack? It's a one by three. I think we just checked the whole rack there. Haha, <laughs> that's just the ghosts waking up. What, the flickering lights is the ghosts waking up? Scrap carbon fiber. I don't know if that's worth taking at this point. There's a damage fridge. Does it have any food? I think I'm checking each fridge individually. Hey, Kung Pao Chicken. Yeah. Yeah. We can only have five in one stack. That's too bad. There's a toilet. That's a bathroom back there. Hygiene wipe. Pick up the stack of hygiene wipes. Dirty scrap cloth. All right, music might be a little on the intense side. That should be better. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Uh, a bottle of vodka! 71% condition. Hell yeah. Wait. Chat, why is this bottle of vodka upside down? Are they empty? Are the bottles empty? I'm also not sure if spare screens are worth anything. There is no up in space. Shut up. How about that up? Alright, here's what we should do. We should start heading back towards the ship. So that we can restore our own oxygen since we've been exploring for a minute. But now it's all scary and flickering in here. That is, yeah, that is the ship actually. Okay, 
And then we take off her helmet. No, don't go, don't go, where are you going? Zuni, stop trying to kill yourself. What the hell, where are you going, dude? Oh my God, we have a task queued up and they're just gonna go do it. Yeah, they must have queued up, stop. They're just gonna go out into space with no helmet on. That seems like something that shouldn't automate. I think you can rotate stuff with R. Mm. I don't know if the bottle's empty or not, though. Seems maybe like it's empty. I don't think any good uh, space citizen would leave a full bottle of vodka on their ship. But what do I know? You like that noise? Is that fast enough? <laughs> Auto hotkey it. Okay, uh, we're hoarding stuff, but I don't know where to actually put it, so. Our ship is not in a great place. <laughs> you, want me to, you want me to try on the, um, the shoes? Oh, we're styling now. The sneakers are blocking... The suit. How does our ship look worse off than the abandoned station? I don't know what this is, but it's um, it's had a good amount of loot in it. We need to like get a ship then and actually try and repair it. This ship is not gonna do. But I'm not sure how to make it better or how to get it because this other ship we're on is way too big, right? Oh, it feels like we've got a lot of stuff that needs to be done. And we're running out of space to drop the loots. What if we just go get more crates? <laughs> Nothing stopping you. We just take all these crates. And then find a home for them. I need to stop picking up so much garbage though. Like, surely we don't need this many motherboards. I am actually just hoarding. All right, this one up here in the top right, this one's gonna be the like, like little spare parts one. Like electronic parts, carbon fiber, mechanical parts, okay. This one is gonna be like food. Food and clothes. Um, and then hygiene wipe sort of fits in with that. We got drink pouch. Empty vodka bottles, which I need to get rid of. Nachos. The junk drawer in space, basically, yes. All right, there's some more food we can stack.
drink pouch needs to be moved. Batteries need to be moved. Electronic parts go in there. Medicine can go off the floor. Cigarette stuff. I, I don't know what to do with actual trash. Chat! Did we just get hit by something? I heard like... I heard a donk. Did you hear that? You hear the bonk? We getting hit by like micrometeorites? So there's a space monster on your hull. You might be onto something. All right, get rid of these bottles. Put the shoes in here. The bottles have to be empty. Okay. Um Just let's just drop this container too. Proximity alarm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to go check those out. Hold on. The uplifted pony was just sort of passing by. Okay. Thank you, uplifted pony. So this nitrogen canister, one of them has 5,000. We need to get, uh, we got a lot of stuff to do here. We're just gonna chat, we're just gonna park here on this ship for a little while, okay? Until we get organized. I say we just go grab another crate and get, get even more organized. This place, this place has got the chests, the loot boxes. I say we use them. They're coming for your empty bottles and flyers. <laughs> I probably have the most of those flyers anywhere else on uh, this side of K-Leg. All right, so chest, open. We got screens and batteries, okay? Extra batteries going here, extra screens. I don't know what these screens are for. Um, I'm bringing this heat, this damaged heat sink back on board the ship. Okay, so now there's just like stuff everywhere. Do we really need sneakers? <laughs> And or coffee. I don't think we need coffee. All right, let's get the cigarette stub. Leave that on the ship. I feel like we do got to keep the sneakers. What if we just eat the Kung Pao chicken now? Zuni can't consume food while wearing a helmet. <laughs> True. Okay, that one's got the sneakers. This one's got the screens and the heat sinks and the batteries. This one's got the extra motherboards and some motors for some godforsaken reason. And this one's got uh, scraps that we might be able to use in crafting. Is there anything else on the ground? There's an oxygen bottle on the ground. And another battery. Batteries go in here. That's for an EVA suit. I don't need this many extra spare screens. 
Especially not ones that are damaged. Okay, now, here's what we're gonna do. To clean this shit up, we're gonna get the empty N2 canister and just leave it on the ship, right? That we're docked with. You managed to save the run? What was the issue? We did save the run with the painstaking help of chat. Um, the issue was, I think, a micrometeorite blew into the side of the ship and caused us to lose pressurization and oxygen. So we did have a few hull patches, which we only have one hull patch left at this point. However, yeah, this O2 canister basically is empty, so we're gonna take this and we, we filled that in and we still lost power on the right side of the ship. So while we're here, um, air is still, like we're still getting air pumped in. Luckily it was the right side that lost power and not the left, because the left side is what is uh, pumping our air right now, I think. So we got air, we got nitrogen, uh, so we refilled the RCS thrusters. We have an N2 canister with only 5,400 KPA. I think we can do better. So we're gonna grab this one and leave it on the ship because this ship actually has some decent canisters that we can go grab. So right now I'm just getting all the crap that we don't need and clearing some room. Moving, shifting some things around. I'd like to repair this ship at some point. Okay, the manual is over here too. I'm gonna put the manual in my pouch. Okay, so yes, we have some uh, annoyingly positioned crates. But, uh, there is a semblance. Chat, this battery charging station off. Did I install this? I think I... Put this on the ship and just sort of left it here. Colony saved? Colony is saved. Exclamation game apparently doesn't work. I don't know why, but uh, it's called Astronauts by the developers of Neo Scavenger. The air in the ship is very close to breathable now. It's been breathable, actually. We've been breathing it. We've been here for like 45 minutes now. <laughs> but I'm glad that you caught up to us. So while we're getting mild hypercapnia, we need to just refresh our air supply. And then fast forward. All right, so when this thing is loose on the ground, uh, we can now move it around. Chad, is there any way to sell these large box blocks? A few blankets and a sweet crate bed. A seat away. We'll sleep on the crates, yeah. I think that's a good idea. All right, okay. We have a number of things to do, but I actually have, feel like I have clear objectives, which is nice. So first I'm gonna get one more crate. We can fit at least one or two more. This one's got a decent HP. It's got a motor that I don't need. All right, we're gonna drop some of the trash on the ground. Like the bottles, the heat sink that I don't think I need, the extra screen that's kind of damaged, the coffee, the cigarette stub.
Green is not a creative color. That's true. I've heard that before. I don't know if we need sea green coveralls. We can probably just buy clothes from somewhere else. Okay. Um, and I've got this splint. No idea, just vibing. Vibing to the Deus Ex, understandable. Okay, so yeah, you're talking about the other ship. Uh, it's 20 KPA 02 on board the ship. Are we, are, do we have actually like full seal on the ship? There was just like power, plenty of battery juice. Hey, there we go. All right, we got a proper storage crate here. Put the hydrocodone on that. We do have room for at least one more crate, I think. But yeah, the uh, the air is um, 20 kPa into 74. Chad, is there supposed to be? 74 kPa of nitrogen, because my ship only has 47. Or maybe it's just going up slowly. I think you can use a dolly to drag several things at a time. Yeah, chat was mentioning that earlier. We can try putting some things on the dolly. I just need to keep my eye on um, the fact that some of this ship may not have the same... Why don't we just leave the dolly here so it's just easier to navigate with? We can just drag things to and from this location. Where is my light? There's a bed. I don't know if we can do anything with it, but there's a bed. Electronic parts, some red coveralls, and mystery meat surprise. Mmm, <laughs> some food. We are so lucky. If I had enough space, I could like try and repair one of these beds and uninstall it and actually sleep on it, but um, Alas. Okay, see, there is no oxygen in the next room over. So we need to put the helmet back on. And we're going to try and uninstall this door and see what's on the other side of it. However, if it is a vacuum, then we're going to have an issue, won't we? Yeah, I think it is a vacuum. So opening this door is a little questionable. It's a bit dubious. Why don't we wait on that? And this is a this is a decent oxygen canister at 18k. And then there's an N2 canister at 19k as well. I'm gonna wanna borrow some of these. This N2 canister is at 14,000. Is that the best one? Can you keep the ship? This ship is a bit large for a, a fixer upper, <laughs> in my opinion. Oh, wait, this one's 35K. Hold on, cancel that. Let's get the 35k one. Well, why not both? I have heard it said. All 
right, we're gonna drop that on the floor. Let's go get the dolly. Okay, but you could though. Yeah, you could. If you could fix this ship and uh, like it's already got oxygen and stuff, you would just, here's the thing, the bigger the ship, the more resources you're gonna need to continue to maintain it, right? Now, how do you put... Oh, I see. So we drop the canister. And then we put this... On the dolly. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So let's take the into canister that has 14k as well. You'd need fuel. Fuel, I think, for RCS is in too, right? It's nitrogen chat. So that's why we're scooping this up for RCS thrusters. Well, wait, we can just do... There we go. All right, it's on the dolly. What is this on the floor in here? Scrap cloth. All right, I'd like to salvage some oxygen from this ship, but if we take the oxygen, just to keep in mind, it might start draining our current oxygen, and therefore we would have to um, put our helmet back on, which isn't the worst thing. We need to check some of these batteries. They're basically at 100%, so... How big is a spare battery? Is it this entire structure? The HP is not good. It's a bit damaged, huh? Because that's a battery, too. It's in better condition. Forty thousand KPA of N2. Hell yeah. Does Dolly have more storage space than Crate? Yeah, like, I could just put the Dolly on the ship. That's, like, not a bad idea at all. And we could take as many of these as we want. <laughs> okay, put that on the Dolly. Boop. Now let's put our helmet back on just in case. Uh, because I'd like to... We gotta do everything in this section that we can before we bust open these uh, peripheral doors. Because once the peripheral doors get popped, there might be a vacuum. Let's get the mechanical bits. Boop. Alright, this one's got uh, 15,000 KPA. Which is pretty damn good. And you put crates in the dolly. You want me to put uh, stuff in the crates and the crates in the dolly and the dolly on the ship? Is that what you're saying? Is there a bog and a log anywhere in this? A frog and a bog and a log? <sighs> but yeah, I'll take the oxygen canisters but right before we're ready to leave. Okay, here's what we really need. We gotta find some power conduit that is currently, presently not in use. I, I think that's safer. And then try and uninstall it. To repair on our own ship. So when this is uninstall parentheses times 3.0, is that like my skill-based speed? Like, does that go up as we train, maybe? And also, once we've uninstalled it... Ah, there it is. I 
I don't know where this conduit was originally connecting to, but it is not connecting now. So I will borrow it. You can just repair and you'll get the needed components from the derelict, but always nice to have some conduits on hand. Yeah. Yeah, the, they're capable of doing some of the tasks with automation themselves. But it's also important to figure out how to do it manually yourself. Just in case you need to... Panic, you know? <laughs> when something goes terribly wrong when you're hit with a micrometeorite. Okay, so if we take a look at our ship, uh, we got the, the issues are these over here, right? There is no conduit in this spot. So how do I take a conduit, install the conduit here? Cannot reach that location. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right, we're putting it back in the wall with the with the fresh bit that we just salvaged from the derelict. And there's lights on the right side of the ship. Oh my god, it's beautiful, chat. There's some sparks and uh, some flickers, but it's ours. <laughs> Okay, now let's try putting our helmet on and I do want to see what happens if we say, look at this conduit here. What happens if you click on the conduit and then click restore? What parts do we need to, res to, to restore? Is it the mechanical parts? And is there a general catch-all sort of repair task? Because I know for sure there's a task list and I don't know how to just say, hey, repair stuff. Like if I want to repair this wall, right? The wall's damaged. I think restoring doesn't take parts because there's no damage, just reduced condition. So I don't really need the helmet then. If condition gets low enough, it'll start to randomly take damage. That's what I thought. You can give commands on the menu. D the menu. Very sort of <laughs> vague, but okay. Just use the menu, chat. It's the menu. Sob quietly. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the options. This game looks pretty rad. It's early access. Yeah, it's early access. It has been in early access for a while and probably will be for a while, but it's, uh, it's fun to sort of chew on, even though some of it is quite difficult to figure out in the heat of the moment. Also, uh, Noah Plo, thank you for the four months of sub. I appreciate it, Noah. Thanks for the tier one, dude. And Greg Rick says, hey, Tal, hope the holidays were good to you and everyone else. Cheers to 2023 incoming. Incoming indeed. Thanks for hanging out. What's interesting also about this game is I have almost the same experience as you, chat. Only like two people in chat actually know how to play this game. So I am having to learn stuff in much the same way that you would if you just buy it and check it out solo. <laughs> Um, 
But yeah, some sort of auto repair or auto restore function would be nice. I'm not sure if that exists because it's difficult. Can't get the RCS cluster airlock opening denied. Does it get to repair this from the outside maybe? Yeah, things are just sort of randomly sparking. I can't imagine that you're supposed to just mouse over every single bit in the entire ship once your ship gets large. That would not really be viable, right? To keep tabs on things that you need to fix. You would sort of need your character to figure that out on their own on account of when you get larger ships you're not going to be able to keep up with every single tile and floor right if you put their behavior on auto they'll repair stuff on their own that's what i don't know how to do how to put their behavior on auto I have them permission restore parts and disembark. There's a button at the... Oh, right here. Okay. Let's see what they do. Hey! That's what I've been looking for this whole time. Alright. Devs did it. They figured it out, chat. But now that we definitely have oxygen and nitrogen... And the temperature seems stable. And we're pressured. And we're just chilling. I think step one is just to make sure there's no more accidents. And randomly exploding sidewalls. Big auto button. It's not that big. <laughs> Look how many buttons are on the screen. <sighs> did you ever die? I did not die. We actually did... Um, Recover from the mess. There was some stress. I may have yelled at chat a few times because things were getting a little hairy. There, there, there may have been a little duress while I um, vented my own frustrations and not being able to figure out what the hell was going on. Is Italix playing with the current patch? Uh, yes, I'm playing with whatever the normal version of the game is. On the side menu, on orders, you can set what you want to do. Drag the icon on the tiles. On the orders. Chat, there are names for each of these buttons that you could simply recite. See, I'm yelling, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Can we yell back now? As if you don't already. But, alright. You can see what we're doing right now. Restoring floors, restoring wall lights. Uh, I say we get our little tin can to be just as at least in tip-top form. Before we worry about getting a new ship. Because we have to stay alive long enough for that to matter. And we have food. We have water. We have um, plenty of O2. We have plenty of nitrogen. And we're just chilling out. We can go 8x speed. Actually, I don't see like a... There we go. I didn't see a progress bar anymore. They were fixing something. We have 84 bucks. We have 84 bucks and we had to um, basically flirt with the admin on the station that we landed at. They didn't uh, tell us that it was going to cost us 500 space bucks to leave the station, but that's what we learned after they let us land, ostensibly for free. Um, we can't go out the airlock.
We're using components and small electronic parts to fix loose batteries. Restoring the floor. It is actually starting to look nicer. Not as, like, scrappy and discombobulated. Fixing conduit pieces. There might have just been, like, an electric explosion. Also, part of this is just a wall patch. There is no wall here. There is a cover over the wall, preventing the uh, air from escaping. So that's cool. Seems like we're doing a pretty good job of repairing. Is there a skill progression in this game? I want to say yes, but I don't know. I don't think that there's a tab that shows me. It says repair times eight. I feel like the times eight is our skill level. Sometimes it's times four, and I don't know which is which. When we're restoring wall lights, it's times four. When we're restoring four, it's times floor, it's times eight. I made myself good at construction. There's a host of traits that you can pick at the beginning of the game, so that may have something to do with it. Maybe like floors and walls are times eight for us, and then other things that we're not as skilled at are times four. But yeah, now we're, when we're fixing the walls... <sighs> there's still so much to do. I guess you can also do this whilst you are traveling, and we don't have to do it all now, but I just feel safer. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. We, we, we've done a decent job with a bunch of these repairs, huh? Let's, let's head back on board the derelict and see what we can grab. Electrical versus mechanical. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Um, we... have some extra bits of conduit. Extra mechanical parts. One of these containers is food. Being able to name the crates would be good too. We could actually just save the food to eat, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to just leave it on the ground. I was trying to be all organized and stuff, but we actually just have too many even bits of food. All right, back on board. Let's get the helmet on. Because we need to definitely get that dolly and we need to get some oxygen. Ooh, mechanical parts that I didn't notice on the first pass. That was the bedroom. I think there's like an airlock somewhere over here. Here we go. Have we been on this side? Into canisters. These ones are a lot emptier. Uh, there is still oxygen on this side of the ship, though, so we should be good without the helmet. I'm going to wear the helmet for a little bit. <sighs> now we're getting some warnings. Oxygen is going down on this side, sort of, or stabilizing. I don't know what's going on. There might be a hole somewhere. I heard an alert. It's good that the alerts are still on. Loose piece of wall. We got plenty of batteries. Is there any reason? Oh, there's a power switch. Don't think that one's... W Ooh, yeah, it is working. Okay, we got loose walls, loose floors, and some trash. We got so much to explore here. Some scrap that we can definitely repurpose. 
Okay, into canisters at, ooh, 28,000. I think we take the 28,000 one. We're gonna have so much RCS fuel. Did the shuttle door auto shut? It did, but there's also oxygen and nitrogen here, so we can actually take the helmet off and it's fine. All right, is this the one? It is indeed. In theory, we could restore this whole big ship we're docked to. In theory, yes. You could restore this entire big ship. It seems like it's mostly functional, actually. I just don't need this much. This is an intimidating amount of space and components that I just don't want to have to deal with. I want something a little smaller than this, I think. Okay, we've already really scoped out this side of the ship. Is it time to start siphoning the oxygen canisters before we blow the doors open, or do we want to blow the doors open first? Let's go look back in here again. Wait, what is this? How do you get in here? There's a closed damage door right here. See, I can uninstall the door and that might depressurize us. To check what's on the other side. But you can also just reinstall the door after you uninstall it. I don't know how long that's gonna take. We're already doing it at eight times normal speed, which I guess is cool. Still takes forever though. It is not a simple job. I guess we could just keep the helmet off for just long enough. And then once we get close to the door, come on off, this is blue bar. Once the blue bar depletes is uh, when the door pops off. There's a bit of lag when uh, changing gear. I think it's just changing the speed of the game. Seems to cause some issues sometimes. All right, let's see if we screwed up by uninstalling this whole door, huh? There actually is oxygen in here, maybe? Or it seems pressurized? I don't think it was worth coming in here. We got a box of cigarettes. I don't know, is that worth a 10 count unicorn dream cigarette box? Cool, and a work safety poster. <laughs> Very nice. How do you know if the boxes have cigarettes in them though? An environmental certification guide, is that cool? And a drink pouch. Holding an environment in vacuum. Is this a tutorial? It is. It's an in-game tutorial loot box. With checklists. That's funny. Where was it again? Inside the bulkhead bin? I don't know. I, I just read it, and now I can't find it again. Where the hell was it? I swear it was in the bulkhead bin, and now the bulkhead bin is empty. So I'm confused. You took it. Oh. Yeah, I took it. I'm dumb. Don't mind me. I'm suffering from, like, space epoxy. <laughs> Alright, is the uh, O2 stable in here? It is. Zuni was hungry. Did Zuni eat? We got some more doors that we could lift off the hinges. Um, I need some oxygen canisters. De 
you guys see anything cool here? Okay, there's actually a lot of... Oh my god, there's a lot of ship left over here. Is that blood? That is a fire extinguisher. Oh yeah, I actually bought one of those. Wait, I can loot that through the wall. <laughs> oh, cool. This is a big old ship. This is a big old ship. Let's uh, uninstall this door too and go see what's on the other side of it, shall we? But anyways, it's it's definitely fun to try and figure out all the different like game systems as they happen to you. I am wondering if there's a memory leak though, because it's starting to lag a little bit more on certain equipment transitions. Oh my god, there's two doors. <laughs> I can pry this one open though. Okay, so that's gonna probably tire us. Uh, pressure is increasing in here. O2 is increasing in here. I'm gonna keep my helmet on for a moment. Where the hell is this? Why is this giant tunnel here? <laughs> Who made this mega base hallway? But yes, a fire extinguisher does seem useful. Fires in space are bad, don't you know, chat? They are. Less than ideal. Okay, I want to bust this open, too. Alright, if we have oxygen, and we do, let's go ahead and refill our own oxygen. But that was just a giant orange hallway for fun, I guess. Zuni feels like an outcast. Zuni, are you okay? Why do you feel like an outcast, Zuni? All right, there is now oxygen in here. Got some electronic bits on the ground. Into pressure alarms. Heater. There's a power switch, which we can try and toggle and just see. It did seem like it turned this room on. There are uh, full oxygen and nitrogen canisters in here. Thermostat says too cold. Chad, do we have a thermostat? On our ship, should I take that? Alright, what else is around here? We got a power... Oh, this is the nav. Oh, damn. Chat. Is this shit fully operational? Uh, we have no Delta V. Okay. I mean, it's... Uh, the game seems to be lagging a bit. Don't crash. Yeah, that's actually two nav stations. How come mom lets you have two nav stations, though?
if we could get um if we could figure out how to replace a delta v we might be able to move this ship can you sell ships wholesale i guess the question is if you fly the ship how are you going to get back to your other ship I think it's just parts, right? Yeah, I think it's just parts. What is this music? Soma end credits. Interesting. Not quite where I was going. Does your ship stay docked to it? You can't fly both. You can't fly both at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay. Dismantle your ship and put the pieces in this one. I don't want this ship. This is too much responsibility. There's like seven or eight different places where you need air pumps. This is a, a ton of work. Cetacea, you get more Delta V by using additional fuel. So the fact that we have zero Delta V means that our RCS thrusters are either not connected or their tanks are empty. Let's make a save. We haven't saved in a bit. The nav room is almost bigger than your ship. <laughs> uh-huh. That it is. Okay. So someone said the nav stations are worth a bunch of money. Should I uninstall these nav stations and then, like, carry them? Also, we do have oxygen in here so I can take the helmet off again. There's an icy fusion reactor here. Yo, this ship has uh, the ability to burn, chat. Can we sell this icy fusion reactor too? Does the nav screen have a diagnostics? Status button? Uh, maybe. It do be lagging, though. It do be lagging. Uh, there actually is fuel for the reactor as well. RCS thrusters, one out of 11. The distributor is offline. Backup power, 100 kilowatt hours. Life support working, O2 two pumps, 8 out of 18. Heat and cool is online. Ship is a gold mine, chat says. Let's look at the logs. Door opened, pin set to 10460728. Which... What doors are these? That one. There's too many doors in this damn ship. How am I supposed to know which code goes to which door? That one. Just try all the codes. No. I wish there was a button up here to like force open all doors from the nav. That would be pretty cool. Okay. So, uh, Jesus. Where do we begin here? This is overwhelming just because of how many things that we can do. <laughs> Open all doors and vent yourself from the ship. Um, what about step one? 
Uninstall the nav stations. Okay. How are we going to fit these behemoths on the ship, though? Can it, hang on. What? Let's try this. Auto save, damn it! I just saved. No moments. Zero moments, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, can this possibly fit on the equipment truck? We are about to find the answer to that. The simple answer is no. Okay. Chad, this is this is a unit, dude. Okay, here's what we need. We can come back for oxygen later, yes? Like, we have plenty of O2, I think, on board our own ship. I don't want to steal the oxygen from this ship since it seems like there's things that we can use. <sighs> this game looks infinitely cooler than before. It's definitely had a lot of time in the oven to, to add some stuff to the game. There's a lot more than when I first played, that's for sure. Still confusing as hell, but... So here's the plan, right? Bring this big boy right in the center here. Can we... No. You can't put crates... on the dolly. Can you put the dolly on the floor? <laughs> What if we put the dolly back here in the airlock? Is that something that's viable? Yes. Okay, so the dolly just stays there at the back of the airlock, like a pickup truck. Um, the one thing that we do need is, uh, for sure, RCS intake regulator needs to be installed. But where the... Chat. How is this a mirror? I'm trying to mirror this on the other side. Okay, it's facing this way on this side. Does it need to be facing like this? How was this before? Why is this red? Okay. Um Ooh. I need the plug to be in the wall. Hey, there we go. Okay. So I do think it was like this before. I accidentally uninstalled my own RCS thruster. So let's put it back in where it's supposed to go, now that we actually have a proper connection and everything. There we go. Okay, it's going to need... Um, a canister, which I don't know if we have space for with these damn boxes. All right, let's go check um, the crate in the back here. Because we have, let's take the 35K, pick that up. 
take it off the dolly and then install it right there. There we go. And if I did everything correctly, we should have a functioning RCS thruster. Uh, we should have articulation to turn the ship left and right. And I just need to make sure that this door can close. Where is the door? There we go. All right, close the airlock this time. Yes. Close the airlock. O2 slows 36k. Whew. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. We take one of these non-essential crates. Debatably, they're all non-essential, but um, some of them are less essential than others. Like this one, just components and, and motors, right? We're gonna pick this up and we're gonna drop it off. I know we just literally just carted it on the ship, but we're gonna take it off the ship real quick. And reorganize a little bit in here. Because I'm going to make room. What's in this? This has got two conduits, some food, some pain pills, and a splint. This one's got some batteries and spare screens that we don't use. Okay, the reason I'm making room is because I want to go grab one of those nav consoles that we uninstalled and try and put it on the ship and see if we can make a haul to the station and see if we can make some money. And then, if we just remember which ship this is, we can just come back uh, for this stuff and maybe get even more and just use the money. To do some upgrades and or just get some sick equipment. Oh, it was this way. Where? No, it wasn't. I already dragged it out in the hall. This is big boy right here. Hello, Gray Fox Hound. Um, you're here. I thought chat was dead. Chat, are you dead? Good morning. What's up? Thank you for 29 months of sub. Chat's lurking way too hard right now. It's not even 10 p.m. Dead AF. Rip me, I am dead. Thank you for 29 months of sub, though. Welcome back, Gray Fox Hound. I don't know if we have space for this. Our eyes are glazed over looking at all this loot. That is understandable. <sighs> okay. Let's say we double check the airlock is closed. This airlock is closed. I want to come back to this station. We need to just um, check our nav, nav console. Uh, this isn't a station. I don't know what this is. We are at... I don't know. We're at laggy menu right now. Probably need to restart the game, to be honest. Yeah, everything is laggy. <laughs> uh, hold on. I think I need to... I don't know if I'm going to be able to navigate to the actual station unless I restart the game real quick. I'm 
I'm imagining that's what the problem is. Though I do think that that is often an issue in games like this, where when you're building, say, massive ships, I don't know, maybe this is enough? Let me see if just continuing is sufficient. But when you're, like, expanding a ship and you're adding, like, hundreds of pieces to it, the game has to keep track of where all those are going, glue them together into one big ship, and uh, keep track of all this stuff. So occasionally that can yield some slowdown or other issues like that. I'm playing Frostpunk, but there's no frost. Keep playing. The frost comes... Eventually. Chat is dead inside. Golden Fishy and Gray Fox Hound. Hello, happy holidays, Etel and Chat. Hello, what's up? We are gonna see if that fixed anything or if to restart the as much faster. That is much faster. Okay, I think that was good. We drifted way out here. Uh, K-Leg is... Stop locking onto me, please. We need to go to K-Leg port, chat. Can nano catastrophe. Can you, get, can you remember nano catastrophe? Okay, we're gonna switch to docking menu. Select our current dock. Request pushback clearance. Uh, accept their message and then un or disengage the clamps I'm gonna quadruple check that the airlock is closed it is okay clamps are disengaged we are pushing back from the target. Our target is the port, which we're gonna switch back to RCS maneuvers. We are this little blue sponge bath backing up from nano catastrophe so we don't accidentally run into it. Uh, we have 6.3 kilometers per second of delta V, which is much improved over where we were before. So what we want to do is sort of face our target. Our bearing is 280. We want that bearing to be 360 or 1, which are the same, or 0, I guess. 360 or 0. 360, there we go. Perfect. Now we're going to push off uh, forward thrust. And just so in the interest of time, let's say about 500 kilometers, or 500 meters per second. 500 kilometers per second would be very fast for RCS thrusters. <laughs> now, let's change the focus to the... See, that? I don't think the focus thing actually works, huh? Tracking target takes its dear sweet time, and um, there's our target. Now we could use more Delta V to get there faster, but that's more fuel we're not gonna have. And you can wait in real time to get to your target or you can speed up the clock, but I've noticed when fast forwarding there's, yeah, there's some issues, there's some glitches, there's some bugs with the map. We also need to be careful that we don't accidentally ram into any other ships. All right, let's go to 600 meters per second. Are we gonna miss this? I think we should. Noom. Yeah, I don't know why that does that. But basically this is supposed to be a map fast forward. So if you're doing like a long distance um, trip, you can set up a long range plot as well. I haven't really messed with this at all. I'm not I'm not really understanding what this is. I just use normal fast forward. I think that helps you see where you're going to end up. Fair enough. That makes sense. Yeah, normal fast forward seems good. Maybe it does just show you where you're gonna end up after enough time passes. Alright, we're just deftly weaving, and by deftly weaving I mean not moving at all. 
We just don't want to run into the planet. This is a planetary body, so we need to slow down. And then turn. Now we're facing this direction, and we're going to accelerate forward. And strafe to the right. Because we do not want to strike the planet itself. Alright, I think this is good. I don't think we're going to hit the planet. Kind of skirting around the outside edge, the circumference. Uh, the port is in orbit. Let's turn a little bit. Because we're going to want to end up right there how far away are we from our target we are about 13 kilometers and closing pegasus please advise do not you can crash into ai ships or vice versa as it were okay we're gonna have to use some thrust to get down there all right once we're inside of five kilometers which we are about to be we are going to switch to the docking controls. Request docking clearance. We are coming in a little spicy. 200 meters per second might be a little on the fast. Did I just hear a donk? I still feel like we're not turning to the left as fast as we are to the right, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay. Nice and controlled. Slow it down to about 50 meters per second. The beeping is good. The beeping is just a proximity. Letting me know that we're very close to a collision. But we're good. Almost there, chat. We're about 200 meters out. 150 and engaged clamps. Why did the, cl the clamps didn't- I didn't leave it long enough for the clamps to engage, apparently. We're good. We're good, chat. Just relax. Take it down. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, we're docked with this station that did not let us go before. How to sell... Do I just have to, like... Okay. If I do business with them for these big things, do I actually have to literally haul the, the things on board? Be like, hey, I, I brought this big-ass nav station with me. You want it? Hey, does this interest you, Hoss? Chat, who do I sell this to? Do I sell this to the scrap, or do I need to go to the other floor and try and uh, find this, like, fixer person? Me. Okay, I sell it to you. Thanks for the stream, Intel. Hello, Goro. Glad you're having fun, and good evening or morning, wherever you are. Can I board the stream now? Oh, I can board the stream now. Hello, Chargoth. You're a little on the late side, but that's okay. Grugan, hello, Mod Squad, as well to you. If I go transit with this, do I take this with me?
Um, I don't remember where it was. Was it the commercial or was it the port? I think we went to port first. Oh wait, this is where I am. We went to the old emporium. And they said that the fence was supposed to be in the old emporium, if I remember. But I don't know who it is. If I leave this here, <laughs> is someone gonna steal it? Fence! Yes, hello, I'm looking for the fence. <laughs> anybody, anybody seen a fence? Around here, you guys all talking, having fun? Don't mind me, just hauling a whole ass, like, nav console through the hallway. Nobody, no, don't offer to help. I don't want any help. I feel like a fence is not going to be just wandering around. They're at a table? Oh, is it you? Dylan? Dylan, what do you got? Offered to trade. What is, what is going on with me? Dylan, what is going on with you? Let's offer to trade with Dylan. Dylan tells Zuni they don't like strangers and besides, they're in a bad mood, so it's best Zuni finds someone else to bother. Threaten them with violence. Crack your knuckles and glare. <laughs> Let's scan the room so we're not so terrified, okay? Dylan asks Zuni if they have any interesting skills. Skilled in construction... Gives us achievement, respect, and meaning. Oh, yeah. Zuni is skilled in implementing civil engineer plans and feels their dreams are in sync with reality. Threaten without threatening. Just tell them <laughs> you are skilled in unarmed melee. Let's offer them a smoke. We're standing uncomfortably close to Dylan right now. Uh, they accept the cigarette and the lights. Chatty smoke break, comedian, or spicy smoke break, intimacy. All right, let's just have a chatty smoke break. Let's relax. Cordial banter is fine. Zuni is experiencing a nicotine buzz and feels like the center of attention and now considers Dylan an acquaintance. Let's complain about the authority. Surely a fence can relate to that. They told me to back off and they need some space. First of all, how dare you? And second of all, how about a mildly funny compliment? Dylan lets out a surprise. Oh, it wasn't complimented. It was just a funny comment. All right, we made them laugh. They consider us. They're currently coughing, probably from the smoke. Uh, probably their first smoke. Let's... Chad, how do I get back to trying to trade with them? <laughs> I don't think he's the fence. You don't think this career criminal is the fence? That guy is the fence. Yeah, that's what I think. Let's ask them how they're doing. Uh, Dylan returns sharply to the matter at hand. Dylan says his Zuni is useless to them and another piece of space trash shoved in a forgotten corner of this wretched excuse for a station that everyone is forced to call home. Okay. Deep conversation systems are all well and good. <laughs> but uh, there is not a natural segue between these events. I just made them laugh. 
they considered me an acquaintance and I, I asked them how they're doing and they called me space trash and then told me to uh, beat it. And then I kind of can just talk to them again and restart the conversation and ask them to trade. They don't do business with strangers unless someone can vouch for them or convince the fixer to give you access to the black market without making them selfish or pestered. I'm gonna, they, they called me space trash. I'm gonna threaten them with violence. Zuni says that their right hook can vouch for them and then cracks their knuckles. Dylan laughs and tells Zuni they aren't afraid of a ba barroom brawl, especially with a nobody like you. Why don't I have the option to beat the shit out of Dylan, okay? I am strong, if a bit fragile. I should have the option to kick Dylan's ass for saying that, okay? Do you see what I'm carrying behind me? <sighs> All right, let's get out of here. I don't feel like debating about the, the merits of the black market with Dylan of all people. So I'm just gonna go sell this to the cheap scrap that's gonna underpay me for it. If I even can sell it to them. They may not even want it. I don't see it as an option here. They want basically everything else. There's plenty of Dylans out there. You don't need him. But yeah, they want battery charger stations. The Birmingham is 69. I actually have one of those. Um... It's kind of illegal considering you don't have a salvage license. You can't listen. The system is designed to keep people like us down. You got a salvage to make money to buy a salvage license to sell your salvage, okay? How else am I supposed to make money when you're charging me 500 bucks just to park here? Chat, I don't know how to make a barter zone. I don't know what that is, okay? What do you want me to do? I have no idea what this is or what it's doing. The buttons also sometimes work and sometimes don't. So what do I do with a barter zone? Can you increase the size of an existing stockpile? Or no? No. bit picky about what you can and can't click. Oh my god, it's massive. Um, can't click add a new zone sometimes without closing... Okay, hang on.
so now if I go back, does that does anything change? I don't think they want the item, chat. Okay. Well, who told me this was worth a lot of money? <laughs> who said that? Don't lie to me. Someone earlier said only the fixer would take it. Yeah, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save an exit there. I'm sure the fixer will take it. I find the conversation system very frustrating, actually. It's probably my least favorite part of the game. Um, and the reason why is because it's unclear what is happening. It seems very random. Uh, and that you can just brute force your way into it if you just keep pestering them long enough. Because it tells you specifically not to pester them. But in fact, if you do pester them, you will eventually get what you want. Uh, right now the conversation system reminds me of rock, paper, scissors. But instead of rock, paper, scissors, there's 15 different elements. And the person who is teaching you how to play the rock, paper, scissors is making up which one beats which one as they go. Does that make sense? Uh, like, it doesn't make sense, but the, the analogy makes sense. I really like the ship mechanics, the uninstalling, the repairing, uh, the salvaging, and the just trawling around space looking at derelicts. That's my favorite part. But we might check this out again um, this week, possibly. But for now, I need to go get some dinner. And also, chat's asleep anyways. So we're going to just come back with a fresh brain and uh, play some games tomorrow. Okay. At like... A little earlier. I don't want to start that late. It was we started late today, so I want to start a bit earlier, and uh, go make some food. So there should be at least a stream tomorrow, and possibly also Friday. And um, I thought I had a plan for what to play tomorrow, but now I don't remember what it was. Either way, I think it's a very fun game. Uh, don't let my complaint suede you one way or the other. Suede, Swede. Uh, I really enjoy the vibe of Astronauts. But yeah, I think some new player onboarding would be good. Because I think... Um, Neo Scavenger compared to Astronauts. Neo Scavenger was much easier to see what was happening in any given moment. Even though the game itself can still hit you with random you died LOL scenarios. If that makes sense. Even if it hit you with a you died LOL scenario, I think it still uh, was a little bit easier to wrap your mind around for different... Like, see what's physically going on, I guess. But the way that the game presents information. But it's very clear that Astronauts is trying to do a lot and is very ambitious, which I totally respect. And wants to do more than Neo Scavenger did. So I'd, I'd like to play some more because I'd like to actually get a ship and like make it cool and make it ours. I think it was also much more natural because of its setting and survival gameplay. Maybe, yeah. The setting probably has something to do with it. But anyway, thanks for coming to the stream tonight, chat. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again for another stream tomorrow. Though I have no idea what we're going to do. Maybe something new. There might be some more RimWorld this week, because I really want to plug away at that campaign. But I enjoyed checking back in on Astronauts regardless. I'd like to give it one more go. I think I really need to watch some gameplay 
of other people explaining how to do more complex systems. But it's really satisfying figuring out different bits and pieces as you go. Some of it's frustrating though, because it's just like, I'm dying and I don't know why. <laughs> My ship is partially exploding and I don't know why. I now live, like the other problem is I think when I come back, if I can't make some money, I'm gonna be stuck on the damn space station again. So figuring out some of those new player issues is very key, I think, to playing more than once. Because the game definitely tricks you and traps you to some extent, and I do think that that makes it harder on new players. Because a new player is like, yes, I do want to go explore the station. And uh, the developer's like, uh-uh-uh, you dumb dumb. You went to the station? Only idiots do that. You don't have anything to sell to the station to get off the station. So you're going to have to convince the admin to let you go. And it's like, okay, I will. And it's like, the admin now considers you friends. Oh, great. Does that mean that I can convince them to let me go now? The admin just told you to fuck off. Okay, that seems like a strange uh, response to your new friend or acquaintance who you just whose joke you just laughed at. Um, leave now. And I'm just like, no, start the conversation over. You failed that time too. Okay, start over again. You failed that time too. Uh, but you're not actually like locked out of conversations. So like you just sort of brute force it until they, the NPC does the thing that you want them to do, which kind of defeats the purpose of a very intricate combat. I mean, a social conflict system. Then uninstall the door and break their terminals <laughs> with no repercussions. <laughs> Bash all consoles until they let you leave. Basically that. All right. Good night, chat. I'll see you guys again for the Thursday stream and we'll do it again. All right. Until then, sleep tight or good morning, wherever you are. And uh, we'll catch you later. Smell you later, chat. Good night. Bye.